Okay, this is the interview with Joe Roger Daly and Bob Payon at Joe's house, May 25th, 2013, by the Archival Historical Society. Okay. Okay. Stoney, if you want to start What's off your full names? Mine is Joseph. Mine is Ro actually Robert. Bob is like a nickname. Like, you know, yeah. But they, everybody calls me Bob. But we know you as Roger. Well, no. that's my nickname. A Dutch hill at that time, right, Bobby? Everybody had a nickname. Yeah. Everybody in Archibald had a nickname. In fact, the whole town had it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amazing, isn't it? How did you get Roger? Do you, do you know? It was my father before that. <laughs> Why? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know, they had called him Roger. Nicknames they pass, pass on from their father the to son. For the time and my son gets called Roger now by a lot of people. The town now is noted for nicknames, nicknames you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Where'd you uh, grow Tommy up? Clifford has a whole Dutch Hill. Thing of Dutch Hill. Yeah. Yes. Greatest Look. place in America to grow up was Dutch Hill, right, Bobby? I always said if I die and I come back, I want to go to Dutch Hill. <laughs> what schools did you go to? When you... I went to St. Thomas. I went to, we called it Green Hill. Green Hill. So did I. I didn't, yeah, yeah well, that's where what's his name lives now, Farina. Yeah, yeah right across from Joseph Gillius. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah, that Lawrence ranch Street. style house yeah, there. Yeah, okay. And right up, right up the road, when we were coming to school, we'd stop at Billy's for uh, Billy penny Mancuso. candy. Billy Van Cusso. You'd yeah. go that's in there with, a, with yes. a dime and you'd get a bag full of candy. Oh, yeah. Pennies worth of dollars, nickel worth of dollars. Oh, right really before something. where Van Court splits there. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, before yeah before just there. a little ways down, yeah. yeah. Who were some of your teachers? Do you recall some of them? The nuns I have a hard time with because they were in and out, you know. My teachers, no, were. I had Miss Cosgrove, she was seventh grade. And tough, right, Bobby? Then there was uh, uh, Dewar, uh, what was her name? Uh, Margaret? Great. Margaret Dewar, and uh, who else? Mrs. DeWig was there. When DeWig, Mrs. Yeah. DeWig. DeWig. Mrs. DeWig, DeWig. yeah. Not me. Yeah, <laughs> she, I think she was fifth grade, I'm not sure. But uh, Mrs. DeWig, Mrs. Dewar, okay. Mrs. Cosgrove, and Miss Miss Barrett. Mm -hmm. Miss Barrett was one of the teachers. Yeah, of the, the, the first name is kind of hard to Is remember. Maggie, Maggie huh? Barrett? No, no. no. I, I think she was Margaret Barrett. I'm sorry. Uh, Professor Walsh taught upstairs when I was there. Yeah. Oh, no, he, he was, was after. Yeah. He was gone. Yeah, I was there before you. Uh, of course, you went to Archville High School? Yeah. Yeah. What years did you? Uh, we graduated 46. 46. Who were some of your classmates? Well, pretty hard to say, but or me and Bobby and the friends. Yeah, a lot of our friends. And we had kids from mine that were good friends with us too, and guys from Nebraska that were good friends with us. It was really nice, you know, because they took care of them. I had the kids behind me in school. I won't give you his name. And <laughs> Mrs. Brzee, did you know? I remember her. Yeah. She was our teacher, right? And he used to copy everything that I did it because I had some good marks. <laughs> One day we had a test and she got the test and put it up. She said, I have to give you credit for doing the great job you did to this kid now. <laughs> she said, the only thing Joe Daly's name don't belong at <laughs> He copied my name. Copied your name too? He copied my name with all the tests. Because I was all little like this. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, that was oh, funny. Oh, oh man. That was a funny well, give us some of the questions well, you have. Yeah. Were your parents both born, both your parents born in this area? In my grandfather, my mother and father were born. My mother was, I'll tell you about her. My grandfather was a captain in the army for 40 years during the, the, the Civil War. Oh, really? I have a great picture of him upstairs. Wow, that's interesting. But anyhow, they, they had a baby. He was stationed in Pittsburgh. And they had a baby. And nine months later, they had a second baby, which was my mother. The other one was Marie Murphy. But uh, he, when he, the second baby, his wife died right after that. Now, he had no place to go with his kid because he was out there and nobody around him. Mm -hmm. So I guess where he wound up, he, they took him back to number five show because that's where he was born. Uh, oh, born really? Wow. His name was Kendrew. Wow. And my, uh, Mrs. Merrin, Ed Merrin's grandmother. Yeah, yeah. There's the two of them kids until they got married or not. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's a long time ago, boy. Wow. Yep. Yeah. You remember any good football games or did the Archwell oh, have football teams there yep. in the forties there? We used to go to the mall, right, Bobby? Well we started uh 
high school didn't have football for At a that year. Time, yeah. Then we started back in 46. 46. In 46. Jimmy Davis was our coach. Well, he came out of the service at that time. And and we didn't have he Nothing. he he begged, borrowed, and stole for uniforms, helmets, and it. We got them from Mayfield. Pants. They gave and, and the stuff that we had, well, it's it's amazing we're not out half. So you think it's really <laughs> because the, the helmet was like. You yeah. could fold it up. You could fold yeah. it up. Oh, well. Put it in your pocket. And we, the equipment we <laughs> the had. The shoulder pads were this big, right, buddy? Yeah. There wasn't much protection. No, <laughs> Jimmy Davis got it all. He went yeah. up to Mayfield. They were in, playing football, and he got all of their stuff. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's what we used our first couple of years. Yeah. And uh -huh. he was a great coach. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, he was. A real he, tough guy, but a great, great coach. What, uh, who, what teams did you play? In high school. Years, we used years. to play Blakely, right? Mm -hmm. Jessup, uh, Oliphant, DuPont. DuPont, we played, yeah. No, we Dixon played. City. Dixon no, wasn't didn't have at one the time. No, they didn't have we played one. in DuPont. Okay. Played DuPont. Yeah. Uh, prep, Scram prep, prep. We mm -hmm. prep. And we, we beat them 7-6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> and we played Oliphant. Yeah. We played, all, we played Oliphant. The first time, and we beat them. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the coach was so furious, was right? I never heard of it. We played a second game. Wow. That's unusual in, in, in football, like, right? Wow. And, yeah. The same day? Huh? No, no. Just about a month later, two oh. months later. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. There yeah. was a big guy on that album. Do you remember me? I was throwing dirt in his face and everything else. And you know what? When the next kickoff came, this guy was big. Down he came, he landed right out here and broke my collarbone. Oh, that was it. <laughs> but guess what? Like probably about three weeks later, I was back. Yeah. <laughs> what did your fathers do for a living? Did they uh, were they coal miners at all? My my grandfather was a coal miner. Yeah. Him okay. and my grand his son were killed together. Really? What yeah. year was that? Do you remember? Oh God, it was when I was just a little boy. I would say in the forties. They're killed in the same accident. Yeah. He oh. was his laborer. Do you know what mine it was in? The there was upstairs. Oh, Sturgis, okay. Yeah, there was a big brick rock at right that time, and there was wow. a mine going right in there. Okay, well, That's how about your mothers? Did they work? Did they just stay in the house? My mother the never kids? worked. She had eight, nine kids and raised That's three really? across the road. Oh, wow. How yeah. about your... My dad, he worked in the mines, yeah. 45, almost 50 years. He, uh, my mother never worked because, like Roger yeah. said, yeah. it's a care of family. Care for, yeah. What mine did he work in, you know? The gravity, gravity slope, I think. Gravity slope. The gravity slope, yeah. Because yeah. I remember yeah. him carrying his tools over. <laughs> yeah. Every morning he'd be carrying the tools. So he yeah. worked with his, my father down there. Yeah, down there with him, sure. Because that's where he was. Yeah. Everybody was there. Yeah. Gravity oh. slope was a great place to work at the time. Yeah. We had the coal car used to come up for the oh. cash car, the pay car. Yeah. And they paid 3,400 people down here at the station. Wow, that's a lot of people. Cash. Here. All cash. Wow. You guys were both in politics. Do you want to talk a little bit about politics? Yeah, we had a lot of good times. <laughs> I started out in 1950 running against the guy who was the nice guy, the mayor. He had one leg. <laughs> but we became friends after. John? You know, and, yeah. Was that Flanagan? Flanagan? Yeah, John Flanagan. Yeah, yeah. I remember you him sitting on the bench over time. Uh, no, I didn't meet him. <clears throat> I remember. Back going in, I said to my wife, I think I'll have to vote for him. <laughs> you see, back then when we ran, yeah. it was wards. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And yes. I was up in the first you ward, one ward. ward they call it. And that's where I was too. Yeah. Yeah, you ran in your own ward. Yeah. Right. That time, right. I think yes. you ran for board controller too, you told me that's one time. The first time I lost was in 1950, I ran against Craig down the bottom of the Francis oh. Craig was the That would have been my father. Huh? That would have been my father. But really? Yeah. I ran against him, he defeated me again. <laughs> <laughs> he was a nice oh, guy too. Yeah. Tell them you're with your political, with the mayor and all of that. Yeah, you know, I was the mayor of town for about what, five years, six years, oh, boy, or maybe two, eight, like two terms, and uh, I put 32 years in the council in the borough. We just the both was just retired when about a year, two years. No, Not much, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple of years. You, you guys were in the borough building on Main on uh, Laurel Street, well, then. that's right. Laurel Street, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then we bought the school from the uh, church when yeah. we were there, and mm -hmm. for thirty thousand bucks we got that building. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good buy on a place. Yeah. It's a nice building. Yeah. Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah. 
They're supposed Wait, to give us a room upstairs to start storing stuff. A lot of people are donating things to the society. We need a place to store them. They're and you're getting a lot of stuff, Dale? Yeah, we yeah. are. Oh, yeah. 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 That's good, yeah. Old clothes and mine relics and uh, yeah. old pictures and stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, a lot of stuff we're getting. But we have a room up on the third floor there. That's nice. Up in the gallery, as we yeah. would know. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. kids. We're good. You go to took the stage and everything out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. Well, that's why we're trying to interview Is people to get the history, yeah. find out what to happen. And, and we're going to store that these. Their, well, that true. stage, that's where all the high school graduations were. Everyone. I don't know if anybody oh, really? told you that. I up in the top of the building there? It's yeah, yeah the, the third floor. Yeah. All the graduations were up there. Up there. Okay. No, from from, from Archibald High yeah, School. Yeah, wow. that's right, right. Oh, yeah. Plus yeah. all the plays that Sister Rosalind oh, yeah. used to put on. Yeah, yeah. And they were fantastic. That too. We did a... Yeah. We did yeah. a... We made the one about what was the... Song of Bernadette. Song of Dern, Bernadette. We Tom Coffer was in that, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he told and me. It, it was a big success. Yeah. Um, well, the priest was Father Zapataki. Zapataki, right? yes. Yes, he was with us on that. I see a picture of Tom in that. With there's yeah. pictures, that pictures in the, the Centennial book, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. That was, that was yeah. big. Well, well, we had the minstrels up there too, guys. Oh, right? tons of The minstrels were big. Bernie yeah. Foot and them guys put them on every year. Wow. That, that was mostly the legions yeah. that did that, or uh, no, just the guys? A bunch different? of guys that was together. That'll lead us into this question. Was your childhood enjoyable? It sounds like it was. Oh, you guys, yeah. We were great. <laughs> Nobody ever bothered us, right, Bobby? What did you do for activities other than like with the school? Like, we what played else? baseball. Okay. We played football up in the field up there. Yeah. And pick up there, games, you know? You know pick yeah. up games, right? And we'd go skiing on the side of the mountain <laughs> behind where Bing lives. We used to ski yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My mom told me about the coal cars up here and the tracks. Oh, yes. used to ride in them. Yeah. Did you guys do that? Sure. Jump in them and ride down? Yeah. I did. He did. Oh, I did. Did you really? Yeah. She did too, yeah. She told yeah. me. And the McNulty's were always involved in them. They used to come down the slope. There was a slope over there in the creek. Oh, oh really? A wooden thing, yeah. You mean where the water came down like yeah, a flume? Yeah, it came down like that, but it took the props down as right it was. The props would be cutting them out. Oh, wow. How about, the baker. how about this? We we used to play a game. It was, we called it baseball. Yeah. With the, with, with the softball, yeah. it hit the wires. Yes. Nice. You hit the wires. If you hit one wire, it was like a single. If you hit a, <laughs> a double wire, it was a oh, oh, Really? And that's... Oh, yeah. We used to play... Uh, <laughs> Kick the can all the time, right? Oh, yeah. Curveball. Yeah, we used yeah. to play the thing with the. We used to wire and take a piece of wood and file it down and bang it on catnip, the end. Catnip, catnip, catnip. <laughs> we do it on the main street. Wow. <laughs> you remember when the river froze? Yeah. I remember. Yes, I do. That was 1942. Wow. Yeah, 42. Yeah. There's another, another time of froze. I think it was the late 40s because I was born in 43. Yeah. So I can remember late 40s, the yeah, ice skating on the river. Yeah, I remember that. And I, I don't remember what year it was, but it was, it was a child, but 48, 49 maybe, guys? Yeah, it was around that time. I, I, that yeah. I, don't, I just don't remember yeah, that. I'll tell you what, after that flood, I was silly. We, were, we built a raft and went to Scranton. <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, Pickle Daly, I remember Pickle. And <laughs> was it uh, oh, 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 42 the year of the flood? That's yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, after it was down a little bit, we built a raft and went to Scranton. <laughs> I'll never forget my brother. <laughs> Oh, on the other side of the river, on the other side of town, he was a shoemaker. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you knew that. Yes. No. Yeah. Uh, Domri. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, he was a shoemaker, and he got we got thrown it right out. Yeah. Yeah, a little shop over there, and everything got everything got, got ruined. Green. All was the machines wow. and everything. It's next to to uh, probes. Uh, the Dunnemans? Oh. No, no, no. Right next to Kenny oh, okay. Probes is there. Yeah. There was yeah. a little. Yeah, it was a little. Little Still place, right? Little yeah. building, right? Right in front. Yeah. On the left. Yeah. 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 I remember that. I remember Mancus's market down there. I remember when I was a little boy. Up the yeah. yeah. Then he moved up there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, burgers got wiped out down there at that yeah. time too. How many markets were there down there? It was Mancus's and uh, how many was? Uh, the Roy's. Uh, Did Probes have one? Uh, not Probes, but Probes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Probes had one. Yeah. Where they made the, the Oh, yeah, probes they had the storage. Yeah, okay. And Nolan's? Huh? Nolan's? Nolan's? And Nolan's. Uh, Radzikowski? So the Radzikowski, yeah. yeah. It was up in the hill, you had Quinn's, right? And you had Quinn's. Quinn's was on the main street. He was on Dutch Hill. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Camilo D'Angelo's that one. Right. Yeah, Camilo was up on Dutch Hill. And you knew over here there was the Giant Market. Right? Yes. I think that's where Mike... Where was the Giant Market? Is that where no, Mike's house is? Yeah, right where Mike is. It burned down. It used to be called Collie's Hall. 
Yes. Oh, the yeah. greatest place to dance in the Where country. Mike Zacker lives in. Dunny Dance, yeah. there used to be. We, that's right. We used to have them yeah. upstairs. We used to have them upstairs. And that was before yeah. the big chief was there with Woody Wolf. Yeah, Woody was there with the right. Well, no, yeah. Woody. No, wait a minute. Woody was up a little further. He was on the other corner. No. The building's he, still there, right? He was up from, uh, from well, where Mike is. Up, he was across the street too, wasn't he? On the he was on yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the fifties. Yeah, across from the doctor was on the other side. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Bowen was across yeah. the front. Yeah, and when he was, uh, he was, was the butcher and everything yeah. else. He was a good guy. <laughs> yeah, he was the nice stop at every place and have a shot. Like shot, shot, shot right? of Wasn't there a market where Kenny's Pub is now? I don't remember that one. I thought I saw it in a little picture. Yeah, right. I think it was a market there, yeah. There might have been. I think that was before Kenny's, way back when. Way, yeah, talked to way before Jimmy Kenny, yeah. Jr. Or there was a lot of little... Lot of little yeah, guys. Old Paul, uh, uh, that old man, uh, Reduce, had one there on Sartre. Oh, yeah, Sartre. it's still yeah. there. The building's still yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. It's still there. Yeah. Yeah. So it had oh, Frank Vailani on the corner Frank of Pike and right. Cherry yeah. Street. Yeah. On the corner of Cherry. Yeah, Collies down in the corner of Monroe down there in Laura Street. How about... Or who was that? Rich, Rich, uh, the transmission guy. Oh, Carrillo. Oh, Carrillo, Carrillo yeah. right? That was a hotel there. Mount Royal Hotel. You know that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. And back on North Main Street. Yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Lindy had a big hotel. Yeah, North, North Main. Yeah. Right. right. Right up the road from uh, Clark Haffey's garage. That building is still there. She had a place for people to come into town and... Where was Claire Caffey's garage? Right up the road from there. Or down this way from there. Claire's Caffey's was about you, two doors up from the bridge. You, okay. you, you uh, go over to Martin Street, make a race. Yeah, yeah okay. Right, right, right down the yeah, yeah, okay. Right. It used yeah. to be, uh, uh, Calogy used to have... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff yeah. In there. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. that, was, that was Claire Caffey's. How about yeah. some of the bars in town? Well, those those? Was Cesar Gibaldo's. And uh, a lot of it. yeah, there were 28 bars in town. I'll tell you, what's that? One, one thing you guys might not know the Windsor, or not the Windsor, but Joe Keegan had a bar up on Main Street, right? Yeah. There were so many bars in town that we had to give the piece of land to German so that he could have the bar. Really, that's not because <laughs> they only allowed 28 bars in town. We had 28. And so oh, poor Keegan oh. was up there in German all them years. No, we just got a Well, back. yeah, that, that used to, that's where the right Center is. Though. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. where the right Center is. Yeah, that, that, that the building is gone. It's yeah. Gone. yeah. yeah. And I don't know why, though. Is it down? I noticed yes, it got down fire that the down. sign was still up. I don't yeah. know if that's still up or not. Oh, now they got it all changed in the front. Yeah. 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 The, the, yeah. Looks like they planted grass or yeah, something. Yeah, they're doing something nice. I don't know what they did. How about that's gas good. stations in town? How many? We had Frankie Mac was on the main street here. Alamank. Oh, Alan well, Frankie, yeah. 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 You know where the... Right here where the, the uh, old post office used to be. Yeah, yeah. okay. The were tanks the were right side. on the road. Yeah, right, right yeah. under the road. The tanks were there. They used to sell gas yeah, right, right on gas the main street. Yeah. Yeah. We had a gas station down in the corner too. Who was down there? Heifer before? was, Heifer was Heifer where... Was down there. The number one horse company is now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. all yeah. right. That was... Uh, yeah, the oh, had right it. across the street, wasn't yeah. that where uh, Up at Kelly's Corner? Yeah, I was just going yeah. to tell you, Kelly's Corner, we had a uh, gas uh, station. Uh, yeah. uh, TT was across from Heifers. Yeah. Remember the little... Yes, the little yeah. Place the little place little 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, he was right, right. Oh, where the thing is now. Where the yeah, the Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Ernie market. Smith's so, over yeah. there. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Ernie Smith's. Ernie Smith's. Ernie Smith's is where Stafarski is now. Yes. Has all his equipment. Yeah. I bought my first car there. He's 1951 Plymouth. Well, <laughs> I don't think so. I paid eighteen hundred dollars for it. I swear it's cards. Really? 1951 Plymouth. Yeah. That's where the mansion house. The mansion house was right there. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. The mansion house was right in that area. Was where Ernie Smith, uh, oh, oh, uh, Charlie Battenberg's father, right. or yeah. grandfather, I yeah. think it was. And down here, here the, the corner, house. there was a big hotel too. Moyles's. Yeah. 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 They were down there. That and was torn down in the 50s, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, around the 50s. Yeah. And that's really that place is now where the guy does with transmissions. How about Tom Harris bar, too? Mm -hmm. Oh, Tom. Well, that's better. In the morning, here one. Yes. He used to go in that place on Bobby Lebanon. Yeah, every morning with a bag of money this big. And oh, put it under the bar. And any oh, guy that yeah. came out with a check, he never questioned it. Nope. Never questioned it. If, if you had bonds, did, like you couldn't cash at the bank, or, yeah. he cashed them. He cashed them. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, just went out, like Roger said, he went under the bar, 
and no matter what size denomination you he had, anything. he cashed it. He cashed it. He cashed it, whatever it was. I never questioned it. No. He was the yeah. banker. He was, yeah, he was. Actually, yeah. Because Archie Sundays, didn't have a bank. Sundays he was in the bank. Well, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what Jackie but, Harrison was doing. Jackie Harrison was running the bar at that show. Yeah. Wow. And he had a sign on the front door, Sunday. Go around the back. <laughs> well, <that's right. laughs> We're close. But yeah, Tom O'Hara's yeah. was that was strictly a man's bar for yeah. years. No, I mean, Four or five stools really? at the bar. That was it. I don't remember oh, any yeah. stools in there. Be true, when I went in. But well, you know, you're right. Yeah. But for a while, yeah, right. Yeah. I don't remember them. Then they put a couple in. Yeah. yeah. yeah a couple. Yeah, there wasn't any there. You're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Birchburg, I know that. Yeah. yeah. Untapped. How about the mining operations? How many breakers do you remember operating? I, remember I just five. remember the one. I remember five. five yeah. One in Sturgis, one at Island, this one up here, the gravity stove, mm -hmm. one on number five hill. That would be the White Oak at the bottom of number five hill? Bottom, yeah. Yeah. You remember when they were still working? Yeah, well, just with them towards the end of the Yeah, time. yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember that too. How yeah. about mine accidents? Do you remember any? A lot in Well, I told my grandfather killed? and his son yeah. were killed together. No, I don't remember too many. Here in Archibald? Yeah, on Sturgis, there we go. Sturgis, that's right. Mm -hmm. like the big break. There was a big break on the mine there. Yeah, did you know anybody personally who was ever killed in the mines? Like I said, my grandfather. Besides them, and, and like my uncle. Any neighbors or friends? Or, you, you didn't work in them yourself, right? Yes, I did. Oh, did <laughs> a couple of years I put in, right, Bobby? Yes, yeah, you did, yeah. I was just the young guy. What did you do? What were your, what was your I job? I was a miner in the bottom. How about World War II? You any memories of that? Uh, the I guys remember the guys out? getting on the train here constantly. Every week, the train came here and picked the guys up. And there were guys who wouldn't go who finally got grabbed and thrown right on the train. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, some guys well, just didn't want to go. Yeah, but I mean, they had to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were drafted. Mm. Yeah. Miss White, what was her name? Yeah. Uh, Lily? No. She was the one who lived at the bottom of the hill. She was in charge of the draft board. Yeah, she was on the draft. She was in charge of the draft. Board. There was uh, two sisters, wasn't there? Yeah. What was her name? Who was in charge of the draft? White. White yeah, was in town here. I remember her first. Yeah, they used to do it upstairs in the Legion, didn't they, Bobby? Taking the draft teams. Yeah, they did it up there. Yeah. yeah. They did it up in the street. Yeah. yeah. So you remember some of the guys going off that remember when you were freshmen or something like that, they were yeah, seniors? Yeah, they were seniors, yeah. That went off. I know a couple of guys that didn't want, but I don't want. I, I, I just don't want to mention their names. <laughs> and finally, the one guy who was a big shot in the town, the guys took him and threw him right on the friggin' train. Yeah. They said, he goes, or we don't go. Wow. And they were right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 They were yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never forget hmm. when the, I don't know if you remember, when, when the Second World War was over, I don't know who the truck was. We got all got on the back of a truck. Yeah. We had tin cans and yeah, tubs and driving, and driving, through, driving town. through town and banging on them, celebrating. Yeah, celebrating. Yeah. 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 Then upstairs in the Legion, too, they used to give the soldiers that 50 to 20 a year, you know? And every wow. day there was a pile of people going up there. Oh, wow. They got a check, like, you know, yeah, yeah. 20 Did bucks. you know that the Legion now, there used to be a big, big plaque there? Yeah, right. With all the service all the people. people. Now that's the Legion downtown. That's, yeah, used to be Legion bank. downtown, yeah. It used yeah. to be a bank, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. But they had that big plaque there with all the servicemen, all their names. The ones from Archibald? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Is that plaque still in there or not? It might be, right? I don't know. Yeah. Ask mm -hmm. one of the guys. It could be upstairs. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. That was in addition to the plaque that was in front of the Borough building, too, right? Yeah. Because that was Oh, yeah, there. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we still had that plaque. It's across the road now. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. How Good. about funerals taking place in your family home? Or, do you remember that? Everybody, everybody in town was buried from their house. Really? Wow. Well, right. my my dad was buried from the house. Mm -hmm. But then my mom, she was buried from Harrison's, from the funeral home. Okay. But How many funeral directors were there in town? There was Buddy Kenny, Harrison, and who else, Barry? Butler? Butler. Butler, yeah. yeah. They were on the corner down there. And, uh, we had come across the last bridge. Well, where what's in there? You know, where Austin Burke lives? Yeah, weren't they in there? Yeah. They were in there. That, that was, was another one, too. That might have been. That, that, was, that was Kenny. No, no. That was Butler, too, but he had moved down from up there. Kenny is up there at, across from the church. Yeah, yeah. He was there he's still too. there. Yeah. yeah. And he had one on, he, he also would wake on Pine Street once in a while from yeah. his home, too. Yeah. yeah. There was a bar there that he had, he had on there. The butlers was in Austin's house. How about McHale? Remember him being? Yeah, where Austin, where Austin is at now, yeah. 
that would have been way years before that, yeah, though, but uh, you don't remember him. Did then. you know that, talking about bars, how about they used to sell candy in there, too, so right on the corner there, uh, uh, Joukowsky. No, no, on Laurel Street there. Uh, Jack Collie? Yeah, who, who, who had the bar there? Remember that? Uh, Mrs. Burke had that bar that went across. Do you go in there? The ladies? They, 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 yeah. they had the bar yeah. and they had the beer. Yeah. Oh, it was just a, a draft beer, right? Out of this world. Yeah. Mm. Out of this world. Real cool. Great beer. They made their own or did they buy No, no, no. It was draft. Right in. Well, we Jack Conley had a great store on that corner, too. Well, yeah, he had the candy, candy store, store in that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But point? you had a bar right up here? Huh? You had a bar right up here, uses. Oh, yeah. Right up Chip the road. Uses. Yeah, right Chip. up the road. Right. They're closed oh, the road. Yeah. Is yeah. that the one that's a little building on the yeah, right side? Yeah, right. Wasn't the one, a right bar on the left? And the the right is up on the corner. Yeah, I remember that. They, were, they did a great job there. Yeah, they did. Well, yeah. that's right. The little bar was yeah. on, on right up the road. And they knew that it was right. On the, right on the corner. Yeah, when did they shut that, down that little bar on the right? I remember that building when I was a little kid. It was shut down then. But yeah, I, you know, long it time was there. shut down before 50s. I even came here. I'm 60 years up there now. Oh, okay. But Wright's would have been... Uh, the corner bar. Father of Bobby Wright, the, yeah, yeah, the medical. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, right, that, yeah. That, that was his father. Right. Right. That was his dad, yeah. His name was John Wright. Yes. How many doctors do you remember that were from town? Well, there was Dr. Macro. The old guy at the foot of the hill, what was his name, I mean? McIntosh. McIntosh. He was first, yeah. And, uh... Colloran? Colloran. Colloran. Uh, I can't think now. I think that was it. I think that I was four remember, or five. There was a Dr. Kelly, he died in 1915. Yeah, that was before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about the movie house? We had that right on the main street down there next to Dickie uh, Keogh's bar. My dad used to take me every Friday yeah. oh. to see the cereal. Yeah. Really? Every... <laughs> and then it was... it was ten cents. Yeah, oh, <laughs> then, oh. then they raised it. It went up to oh, eleven <laughs> cents. Was that the Grand? The Grand yeah. Theater. Yeah. And was there you know what we used to do? We used to go up there. A big sign outside. Remember that, Bobby? <laughs> and we'd get a guy under that sign. He'd go and open the side doors. They'd bring the other guy inside. <laughs> who ran the, the the movie house at that Collies, time? Collies, wasn't it, Bobby? No, no. Before that, I don't know who it was before. But Dick Collie ran. He ran it. Yeah. Yeah. After that, I, I don't know who yeah. it was before. Jesus. They had a couple of priests in that family too, the college. And then yes. there were, at no. the time there was no bathroom, but then they put bathrooms yeah, downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way down in the basement. Yeah. yeah. Way yeah. down. Way, Way down, down. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Almost at the level of the river. I don't think that. They probably were running it into the river. <laughs> well. And the church was even running it when we picked it up right back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a thing in the cross and then the river by where the river was just down. Did your parents own a car when you were growing up? My, My father, parents, no. 46, he got a car. What kind? It was called a terraplane. What year was it? Terraplane? I don't know, but probably in the 30s. Wow. We used to go out with it. Yeah, we used to take it out. We used to it. use it. Yeah. Then we'd chip in a quarter or for 10 gas, cents, whatever. You know, for how gas. much was gas? About 11 cents yeah. at that time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, the roads, were they dirt out there? Or they brick? Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. Then they come along in the 40s and they took all the, the tracks up out of the middle, so they had to get out. Where well, were the tracks? Just in the main street down there? Yeah, the they ran the yeah. streetcar right all the way to Carbondale. Yeah. From Scranton to Carbondale? Yeah. 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 Right at Kelly's Corner there, you know where the Anna Road is? Yeah. It was called Daily Switch. They used to switch to... So you remember the trolley cars? Oh, yeah. yeah. You I was a young kid. Well, yeah, and they're towards the end. Wow. But in 45, I think it was when they took them out. Yeah, yeah. How much was it to go to Scranton? About 10 cents we used to go on the train. <laughs> wow. Well, you remember there was a station over right there. Right here. Yeah. For the train. Yeah. yeah. We used to go down there for a dime, we'd go to Scranton. Our biggest thing was the day after Easter, right, Bobby? We'd have a buck and we could go to Scranton and spend it. <laughs> and then we'd go to the station for a dime, right? Wow. Yeah. They were good days, I'll tell you. Good days. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bet. And yeah. you never saw those pedophiles or nothing. Because yeah. anyway, we knew, we made sure they weren't near us. No drugs. Yeah. Yeah. No, there was yeah. nothing then. Yeah. We didn't, we, no drugs. The only drug that I knew, that we knew, was Aspen. we have to go to the drugstore to get a prescription. That was yeah. it. So, yeah. That was it. How many drugstores? Yeah. Huh? How many drugstores were there? There was Collie's. Grogan. Grogan's. Uh, Where was Grogan's? Grogan's is right 
Right Next to where the movie used to be. Okay. Carlson yeah. Dipples. Yeah. 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 Charlie, Charlie Grogan. Right across the street, yeah. And, and he was a funny footsteps. guy. You go down for a yeah. prescription, he's like, I don't have a twice, I'm just as good. <laughs> yeah. And he would. He would make something up. He would make something up. Really? Well, uh, uh, somebody else told us that, too. But that's yeah. the truth. It's not a lie. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah. not a lie. Oh, well. yeah. Then we had Dr. Carney, the dentist back on North Main Street there. Did they used to come to the house back then, the doctors? Oh, yeah. Oh, Dr. God, Carney. yeah. Really? Dr. Collar was the greatest guy in the world. Really? I remember him coming into our house at 3 or 4 in the morning with his pajamas under his coat. And wow. he'd say to you, Joe, you waited too long, the kids are awful sick, you know. He said, I said, well, we didn't have the money. Yeah. He said, did I ever ask you for the money? Wow. Now, how did you get home? Did you have a telephone in the house then? Or how I, did you get him? We didn't have one in the house. They came in about the 40s, right? right? But how would yeah. you get a hold of the doctor at that time in the morning? Just send someone out? or? He, well, you'd go next door to somebody who had a phone. Okay. Yeah. And call him. Uh, and he then never there were refused. party phones, too. Huh? Then there were your par party phones, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You could hear somebody people. else, you know. Really? Depending on how many rings you had. That's right. You know, that's how you answered it. Uh -huh. Talking about doctors, we had Dr. Biancarelli. We called him for my daughter. For my daughter, yeah. She had a terrible cold, right? And, you know, he, he heard my son, yeah. my Francis, right? Mm -hmm. He heard the way he was breathing. He would all say, that, he said, get him down to the hospital right now. Yeah. They had to put a tracheotomy. Really? He, yeah. he had that in for about three years. Wow. We yeah. didn't have him for till about almost two years right. he was in the hospital. He was the take him to Philadelphia. Yeah. Right? Was, was he, he from Jessup, Jessup, the doctor? Back here from yes. Jessup? Yeah. 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 He was a good doctor. Yeah, oh yeah. I, mean, I remember him walking into, you could tell when I was in the yeah. hospital yeah. in Mid Valley one time. Wow. He came in to deliver a baby and he had a couple of drinks in him. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, what the hell is this guy going to deliver the baby? No, that was Dr. Barrett. Not Barrett, yet. Barrett. And he came in, he's flat and duck. Jesus, 15 minutes later, he walked out, everything was fine. The baby was delivered. <laughs> he was a character. Well, at least he was, you know Fran, right? Yeah. yeah. To see him now, you'd never know. No, you'd never be, know. Be, yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Jeez. Oh, wow. That episode with the... Guy in the in the ground. You want to talk about that? Yeah. You know that. I mean, uh, that was. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know that much. Yeah. Uh -huh. They buried him about say let's say the first of the month. He was down there for thirty some days in a box on the ground. In a box oh. with air. Yeah. And they sent him down a pipe with food. Oh, you know, going to bat. Well, he was half silly, and old Vinny. But anyhow, one night it started a pour rain so goddamn bad they oh. had to dig him up. God. The hole was filled. <laughs> And he lived about 10 years later, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. Did he really? Yeah. And he was a hell of a nice guy. Oh, boy. You'd have to know him then to find out how good he was. Yeah, you have oh. to go. Okay. You leave him? Thank, thank you. I got a, okay. nice an to appointment. Meet. We'll see you soon. Yeah. But it was good talking to you. You too. Okay. Stop Take again. We're 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 we'll I don't know how much information you got, but. Oh, well, they're going to we'll continue. continue a bit. Okay. Yeah, again. sure. Yep. So he just wanted to be buried himself. That was his own idea. Well, like Roger said, if you knew him, yeah. it was always after. It was off the wall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nothing I know. used to hang out up at oh, oh, uh, Frankie's gas station. He could have. He yeah. Like, like in a bit old. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was his eye. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. You remember? I remember. Yeah, remember. Nice yeah, yeah, yes, yes. yes. Well, that was, that was right. him. I remember. But he was I in front of Fran's cafe in the ground, right in front. Right in front of Fran, where Fran's was there. Yeah, yeah. But that was back a long time ago. Oh, right? God, I mean, what, like, 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 what brought that on? Like, he just wanted he, to do it, I guess. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I think they must have made a bet with him. A dare, like, or a bet, like. I think it was that. a bet. Uh, That's the kind of a guy he was. Yeah, yeah. And because of the rain, uh, he would have stayed longer. Oh, he would have stayed longer. Yeah. Twenty-one days he was there. Over that, I think. Oh, Jesus, really? Wow. Oh. How did he go? <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not hard to believe. They probably had some setup. And they put like something to drink down that tube? Yeah, they had a tube. Food. They used to send this food down through it. Wow. wow. Uh, booze. They like the booze. Uh, <laughs> uh, did they have a light down there? I don't, don't know. You know, know. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, as you're growing up, uh, different jobs. Did you have jobs as a kid, like uh, chores or jobs working at the local store or anything like that? Let me tell you a funny thing. This is not funny. The next door to our house, was Chucky Lindy's bar. Okay. And he had a keep it clean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We heard about it. They know about it. Yeah. But what? Uh, they must know about Chucky's bar. Yeah, that was a whorehouse, actually. Yeah, yeah. 
Because if you like, if you took a baby and you pay a couple of bucks, you had to come upstairs. But all of us is Lindy had a crippled leg, mm -hmm. and I was just five or six years old. Right? She had seven, eight cats in the place. Every day she used to call me up and say, "Joe, I want you to go down to Gilroy's and get food for my cats." I said, well, what do you want? I want the best steaks they have. <laughs> so I'd go down to Gilroy's and I'd get the goddamn steak and I'd bring it up. And she'd look at it and she'd say, that's not good enough. Here's a nickel. And I'll send it on again. Because I'm done, right? Three or four times I'm telling you, she'd send me down for the meat. For them wow, cats. For the cats. Keep wow. them friend. God bless her. And one night I was in the, uh, the bar doing something for her. And uh, geez, Chucky was a big, strong guy, right? Yeah. Big, big, strong guy. There was two guys sitting at the bar, and they were arguing with each other, right, half drunk. She was in the kitchen. She said to Chucky, she said, now don't let them get in any trouble. She said, get them out of here if they cause any trouble. So geez, they got in an argument, and what did Chucky do? He picked the two of them up in one hand, wow. like this, and took them over to the front door and threw them right through the goddamn door. Wow. Remember that? Buddy? Yeah, oh, he, he was like he an was ox. An ox. Oh. You had a so door. Like that guy, Waterman Kelly, was he ever? Oh, he was a wicked man. What did you know about him? What did he ever do? Well, he, he, he was a... He was no good. He, 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 oh, he yeah. was bad. He, he would uh, sucker punch you. Really? Different yeah. stuff like that, yeah. He'd be in the Legion, he'd give you a punch right in the face. He wasn't, he wasn't as tough as everybody thought he was. Well, he was a boxer. You know? Yeah, yeah. But he'd he just sucker punch a guy and yep. he had him. He had him. Yeah. Do you remember another guy, remember. Tom Clough mentioned Nip Heckman? Oh, yeah, by number five. Yeah, yeah. What did he? Uh, he was living in the woods all his life. Living in the woods, really? Yeah. My yeah. mom said he was like the first hippie. He had long hair. Oh, yeah. 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 And sure. his brother was the greatest electrician in town. Really? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Funny, ain't it? Huh. Yeah, Nip ran in that whole area for years. He lived in the woods, though? Yeah. Yep. Oh, by number five. Hill. Yeah. It didn't hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's what she yeah. said. You never heard it. She said they couldn't get him from off the hill to get new no. shoes. They didn't right, want to go down. Right, right, exactly, yeah. And he was long hair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. How about any other strange characters that lived in town, do you remember? We had Jonathan Vinson on Dutch Hill with us right by me. Mm. He used Ooh. to walk the streets with a big snake around his neck every day. What was the last name? Vinson? Vinson. I, I saw in the paper an article in the 20s of Vinson shot his son with a pistol. That could have been him. Really? Because they were a little silly at that time. Yeah. You know what they used to do? Well, I'll tell you this. There was a tree up in the field behind the ball field. Uh, yeah. You know, the bowling alley? Yeah. We used to call it the big tree. The right? big tree. And those guys couldn't, wouldn't work. Yeah. I mean, they had no jobs. Uh -huh. So every day they used to come there and they'd put their pennies together and they'd go down to the riverside to Majeska and get a gallon of wine. Yeah. And they'd always be flat and drunk. Yeah. So they wouldn't know what was going on. My uncle Leo was my father's brother now. This guy was educated in Scranton in college and everything else. The only one in the family because they had 14 kids. Wow. But anyhow, he'd come home, I'd probably he'd be flat and drunk and his wife was the nicest guy and he'd be standing outside and you're nothing but a fuck on her. Just... Yeah, but they used to scream, you could hear them all over oh, the oh, yeah, My yeah. dad had to go up there after him every day. Really? Wow. Every single day, the language he used. He'd be put in jail yeah. a hundred times, right? Oh, he said, one of them around with a snake around his head? That was Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan. What kind of snake was it, you? Know? It was a big one, that's all we know. <laughs> he used to sit on the wall up there. Wow. What was the name of that place, probably, where the big building was, right? Couldn't when you coughed in the Ida Road on that corner. Touches, or was it? But he used to sit on that wall with that thing around his neck. Wow. Speaking of snakes, was there any other unusual animals in town? Maybe you have cows, do you remember, in town? Or well, chickens? Roger, Roger, maybe. Right, I used to live right there. You yeah. know where I lived, Sammy, right? right? On Charles. On yeah. Charles, yeah. Street, right? Yeah. Okay. And every morning you would hear ring a ling a ling a ling a ling. Cows? The cows coming down from Ireland. To the island. Really? Coming down from Ireland and they'd roam around in that field there. Yeah. Where was the field? What? Right, you right know where there. Queens is now, yeah, right? Yeah, right there. That was just a field. That was a baseball oh. field. So yeah. people would take their cows down to graze during the day, or they go down by themselves. They go down they by go, themselves. They go where they were going. And yeah. you could hear the they'd have and the they bell. Go home home the bell was right on. Them. Yeah. yeah. They go home when they had it. Yeah. Oh, however they did it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, well, well. Uh, do you remember the bridge, like, like yeah. you know, from yeah. a Ridge Road before Kennedy was? Oh, I went that back there. Yeah. 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 That was over by the John, by the park. 
over by Mike Glendy's bar. No. No, no, going up he's behind Bobby. He's talking about the suspension bridge now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, Rich Road. The only way. Yeah. You know, behind oh, the road. Well, that got knocked down in the 40s, that storm. But uh, they didn't build Kennedy all the way down until, uh, what, 33, wasn't there? Something yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, that was the only way to get to Einick. Yeah, well, that was the Ridge Road. The yeah. Ridge Road. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. them. You know, that little road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Only because yeah. that's what they that, did. It's called that part. It's a Ridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. speaking of that, we. Oh. Old Ridge Road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We found what we think is part of a breaker. You know where Dave, Jimmy Davis lives? Yeah. Was there a breaker in behind his house? Yeah, the Riverside yeah. Breaker. Riverside Breaker. Uh, do you know exactly where it was? I can show you it on. Was it, what year was it built? Because we found the... Uh, before the 30s. Before the 30s, okay. They mined a lot of good stuff out of there. Did they really? It, it collapsed on them. So it was right, Jimmy Davis' right. house was right behind... Jimmy, you go back about a half a block is what was on that side. That's, we found it, yeah. Yep. Now, we found... And that big the, dump was all, that all came out of there. Did really? Them dumps. And, and, and uh, where did the red ash come, uh, come from? From the mines. Yeah, and uh, that burned? Somebody set it on fire. And that burned for yeah. years, what, oh, 30, 40 God. years. Yeah? Yeah. Forever. And a rainstorm, oh. the whole town had a terrible smell. Yeah, yeah. Because the sulfur would be the coming sulfur. out from it. Yeah. Oh, when it gets... But right. they built that in the 30s, okay. Yeah. We found, him and I found the uh, breaker, uh, the uh, fire, the fire foundation. foundation, and it's tipped over like a bulldozer yeah. knock. But there's yeah. rails in it. Looked like small rails they might have pulled up from the gravity road yeah. and threw it in for reinforcement. Oh, I wouldn't. Because the gravity yeah, went down. There were little there. rails. Yeah. yeah, yeah, tiny rails. Yeah, but they weren't the size of the ones that are. Yeah, they're no, small. The little rail. ones. Right. Right. The gravity right. railroad ran, ran right next to the where Bobby did. Yeah, I yeah. Don't chill. We know where I live there. Bobby, where I live, yeah. Frank, we know Frank Mancos. He grabbed him right through his yard, right? Right, yeah. through, like, right through there, yeah. yeah. Right through there. And ran over to, to where had, the bank is, over, or, or, yeah. or, over that way. Yeah. And they had a big, uh, big, 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 there. They had, yeah. they had a big, a big, a tr big trench for it to go through. We used to call it the cut. Yeah. Where is right? this? Back on Riverside, where, where all the homes are, like up there. Uh, yeah, yeah. From Quinton. Okay. That, that was there was the a big trick, wasn't cut there. Yeah. That's sort of railroad could run down because uh, yeah, yeah. they had no wow. trains. Yeah, that was behind uh, oh, oh, uh, Monica Drive there, right? The, uh, is that where you're going? Yeah, in that neighborhood, yeah. It was a big, big cut. It, it came up uh, next to Bear Owens. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, right. Yes. There you go. There yeah. you go, yeah. And, and over, it came over this you know, part. Across Joanne and, mm -hmm. yeah. and then down through Quinn's. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, right by my house. Right there. over across. You know, to well, Louis DeFazio's. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the gravity that you came across this mountain yeah. and came back down this way. Yeah, yeah. Came Did you know that Louis talking about DeFazio, that was the ice house? Yeah. I remember that. We were you small. That, we used to right? stop and get yeah. ice up there. Yeah. 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 There was other yeah. ice houses too, weren't there? Yeah. Yeah. Besides him? I don't remember. Bishop. Yeah, Bishop. Bishop. Well, yeah, yeah, back a, yeah. Front. Back a little yeah. further, yeah. yeah. There's only a little ways further. I don't remember him before my time, but I remember Louis. He was still Curtis. Yeah. Oh, that was. Christ, we'd be waiting for him and to, to get a piece of ice, and, you know. <laughs> so when you guys grew up, you just had an ice box in the house. Today. That's all. You order ten percent piece or how long a quarter piece or how long would the ice last? It was all lined inside your refrigerator yeah. and it like stayed a couple day? days, right, Bobby? Yeah, a couple of days. Oh wow, a couple of days you had to get more. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to go back and get more. Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, see, then they used to. Where did they get it? I, I don't know if it was the Chapel Lake or was it uh, Hart Lake? They used, used to chop the ice. Yeah. Cut yeah. the ice, you know? Yeah. And it used to be deep, too. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, Christ, God. if you wanted to carry one of them, they yeah. had forks that they used, right? I mean, yeah. big forks that they went this way and went around the side. Yeah, the tongs. Yeah. 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 Did you guys have electricity in the house growing yes. up, too? Or? Oh, yeah. 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 Since you were babies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that I yeah. remember, yeah. 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 And, and we had a we had a bathroom or we had uh, Oh wow, okay. We didn't have an outside. No, did, we had, we were rich. Did many yeah. people have other houses? Out houses outside? Oh Some, then? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> My poor Uncle Leo would be into there taking a ship, we'd put the place off. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we we I always remember well, when, was I, I don't know how <laughs> but we, we always had a, a, a bathtub and a toilet and the whole thing. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we had steam heat right through the 30s. Coal, right? The whole house, we had 30 rooms. A coal furnace? Yeah, a big one. Yeah. It had a, a funny thing like this on here. You were going to bed at night, filled out with coal. Yeah. And yeah. during the night, they would let the coal run down. Onto yeah, the fire. Yeah. Onto wow. the fire.
I never in the figured. morning, open and yeah. these. Mm. Wow. How has the town changed since you were growing up until now? A real lot, probably? Oh, I see. With the homes and everything else, the towns. Well, really? it, it, for me, and we were like, like you talk about elections, right? Yeah. yeah. Years ago, then it was wards, then it went to, to the uh, at large. Yeah. yeah. But we, when we ran, especially in the ward, yeah. we knew who we were going to get. Yeah. We yeah. knew every no, vote that we were going to get. We yeah. had the counter line before. Today, yeah. you can't do that. No, you There's too many. Yeah. The yeah. hills of Archibald, the yeah. second hills yeah. of Archibald. Yeah. Sure. There's too many new homes. Now, there's what, 6,000 people in town yeah. now? Oh, it's was, over six. It's how many were you growing up? How, how oh, big yes. was it? Uh, uh, they said seven now, I think. It, um, it could be. Uh, uh, yesterday's paper. This town was the, always yeah, yeah, a good population. It was, yeah. It always had the yeah, five, Because you know, all the miners are right by me. Yeah. Really? We're coming up. And then the WPA was on working, and yeah. all the men worked on that. Hmm. My dad even worked on that. Yeah. Oh, did he really? I think that, I don't know if it, they used to take After the mines, yeah. he worked on that for. Yeah. That was Franklin yeah. Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know that. Well, I don't yeah, have to yeah, tell you, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It was all the those, work. All those walls. And he, the the, uh, he also threw in the forestry for yeah. the younger yeah. guys yeah. back in the 15s, like, you know? Yeah, what was the last mine to shut down in town? The last one I would think was our, up on Dutch Hill, there'd be in Quinn's store. You know, oh, right? yeah. What the hell was that? Behind Quinn's? That'd be up by your house? 45 shaft, they come. Really? Yeah, it was the 45 shaft, yeah. Where was that? Where's the opening at? It's that, in that side that, under them houses. Is that the near your house? Yeah. Across the road. Well, across, you know. Right there. You know where, you know where uh, Frankie, Frankie, uh, uh, Frankie, they have that big piece of oh, land yeah. where it was right, right in there. there. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was right and in there. There was a big yeah. pocket there. Really? And a guy by the name of Scheimer. Scheimer used to watch that pocket, right? <laughs> He'd have big goddamn things in his head. And if you gave him a gallon of wine, you were okay. <laughs> You could do take what you want, wow. but he could try to spot the, that thing out. Oh, what the hell was his name? <laughs> Oates. Oates. Lester Oates. Yeah. Oates. Oh. Yeah. Oates. 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 Yes. Oh. Lester Oates. Yeah. My mom he wasn't a cop. No, he wasn't a cop. No, no that was his brother. Was, right. Huh? She mentioned a guy named Hooky Reap. Who was he? What was he? Down by us in that man. She used to talk about him. He was a railroad cop. Oh, ah, okay. He and he was real. also a great football player. When oh, yeah. When he was young. Well, you must have seen the different award. They give the hooky read. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Well, but I didn't, I didn't, yeah. He could cook yeah. and kick that football a mile. Really? No, oh, really. You know, Raj, you're talking about <clears throat> the son. No, I'm talking about the father. Man. Oh, the father. Oh, I don't remember. That's what that award is named after, not the kid. Oh. It's after the father. Oh, oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. A railroad cop, what did he do? Just patrol the railroads? Or yeah, railroad? and yeah, the cars were on the side tracks and things. And well, then okay. here, they ran steady. Now yeah. they don't. Yeah, oh, yeah. There was the DL&W and there was the, what was the other one? The uh, O&W. The O&W next to the river. Yeah. Yeah. Right, next yeah. to the river. That was the O&W. Yeah. The other one was the DL. Yeah. That one went yeah. 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 And yeah. And then and going across town, I mean, it was the Delaware no. the well, Yeah. Deal. What they carry on the O&W, passengers or just freight? Uh, freight, mostly freight. Mostly really? freight. Mostly and freight. the passengers went on the other one? Yeah, there was yeah. a passenger car. Mm -hmm. the, the station was where? Across from the new station they have down there now? Well, the you know side? where the guy gets all that lumber and stuff? Yeah, yeah. by down there. The station right there. was right there. Right there. Okay. Right, right there. Well, no, we're always down from the one we built there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Down okay, a little yeah, further, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that footbridge was down a little further, right? That one that yeah, crossed over. Yeah, the track. Yeah. That's where they found my grandfather. They threw him off there in 1926. Oh, is that right? My mom was a year and a half old. She never knew her father because oh, they threw boy. him off. And they found him there the next day dead with all his money gone. They wow. never found out who did it, but well, they tossed him off there. there but that's what the, the footbridge was right by the Borough building there. There was a big trust yeah. down here. That's where they might have thrown yeah. him off. Yeah, that footbridge that went over the tracks. Yeah, yeah that's the one they got. That one, this was a big trust they had nobody. Oh, did they really? Yeah, they ripped it up after the kids started playing on it. Yeah. Really? No, I don't remember that one. It was that? a big one. Where was this now? Right down behind the ball field in the dark brown. It kept, it had crossed the river there. Mm -hmm. Want to take a look at it? It's right there, right? Wow. Oh, you mean uh, the O&W bridge? Uh, yeah, that would be the O&W bridge. Yeah, oh, okay. And yeah. over here was the walking bridge by yeah, Mike right. Lindy's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a trust. Lindy's over across. across. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you probably heard about the murder underneath the underpass, Delfino, Marvillo. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you know about that? That was before your well, time. That was before. It's 1916, I think they, it was. They um, executed the long guy. Did they really? Yeah, they executed him. Delfino, I think. I was. 
Belfast, yeah, I think it was, yeah, out at Rockview, yeah. the prison out there. But my grandmother was sitting on the porch, she seen the two of them walk oh, underneath God. and heard the shot. She didn't see it happen, but the one guy came running out, they caught him five years later, according yeah. to the paper. But what a, anything else uh, big happened in town, disasters or anything funny or sad or tragic or oh, uh, parades? <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time for us guys too, you know. I'm going to be 85 next month. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bobby ain't too far behind me, right, man? Well, well, well uh, the fires. Right? Yeah. yeah, any big fires in town? The, well, yeah. You know what the big chiefs yeah. uh, used to sit there, that part of town, that was Collie's Hall. Yeah, yeah. Where, that was right, a huge exactly. fire. Was yeah, a well, right across from where, where Dimples is now. Yeah. My Did brother you? had his shop there, yeah, too. And that burned down. And that burned down. The, the, what was, was there? The, the big was, distillery. Uh, the yeah. distillery. Uh, the distillery was on the left. Was it on that yeah. side of the road? Uh, yeah. Like next to, to Garoy's? Yeah, right, right in between right. there. Yeah. I and worked in that burned? distillery when I was only 15 years old. Oh, really? Oh. At night, I started to go in at 11 o'clock and I worked in the morning. And that was a big fire. Oh, oh that, that was, was a really huge one. There was four fires. It burned right to the ground? They couldn't right to the ground. Really? Anybody heard of killed in it? No. Uh -huh. no I well, don't there think was so. a man killed in there one time. Oh, really? In a fire? And I was there when it happened. No, it wasn't a fire. His name was Blake. Mm -hmm. This Blake, the kid's father. Related to John Blake? His father. Really? No. Either that, that or his grandfather. His grandfather. His grandfather. 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 Yeah. Well, it wasn't his father. Yeah, well, what are the, no, Jackie Jack. was his father. Well, he yeah. was that guy's father. Yeah, he lived next door. And house. anyhow, or, or he my, was a my great uh, electrician and a plumber. Yeah, yeah. And he used to go through the place all night. Yeah, yeah. One night he was coming, uh, he was downstairs, and a guy was up the top doing some work, and he had a pipe, a wrench, about that big. Mm -hmm. That wrench fell on the guy's hand, went right down through the steps. To Four of things and kill him on the ground. Really? He just by accident? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know what year that was, do you? I don't well, mean, I remember this, but I don't know. Yeah, it'd have to be, yeah. yeah. Well, it okay. just fell out of Early his hand. Early 40s, yeah. He fell out the guy in the third floor. Wow. He had a nine full of inches, one fell out, and come down right through them, then, you know, the openings in there. Yeah, yeah. Come down there, Vince was just passing under there. Oh, boy. And you got it with that wrench again. How about killed. people killed on the, the railroad tracks? Did a lot of people get killed in town by trains? A couple, but not many. I just remember one when we were on the oh, ambulance squad, Jesus. right? And <laughs> the guy was changing cars, right, Bobby? Behind Skippy Turpex. Yeah. And there was a man on the end, and the car got tipped over. We got a call back there. And Jesus, we were there all night long trying to find him, remember? The man was buried in this. There because the car flew it over him. Yeah. We had to cross through the river to get him. Right. Well, we were on the end. That's when the, the ambulance. We was formed the end. We were originators we, we were, of the ambulance. I was just going to ask you, when you was drive up form? there? Huh? Up the railroad tracks. Did you yeah. drive up the railroad up the tracks? tracks? Yeah. Hmm. So you two guys started the ambulance? Well, not, not we us. It was John Grimes. Was there. Yeah. Yeah. John Grimes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had some good men. Uh, Jimmy Bobby, Davis. Bobby Moran's father, I think. Yeah. What year was Bob Moran. It was 1956, was it probably 55? Oh, was a year old? 56, 7? Yeah. Yeah, something in there. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, nice. They had yeah. no ambulance before that? No. Nothing. No. They used to take them in the Black Mariah. Did yeah. you know? That was from the and we used to store our ambulance. Where Ernie Smith's Ernie Smith's graduates. Uh, well, it was up at uh, Caffrey's first. Or Caffrey's. Yeah, Caffrey's. Caffrey's. That's where we stored. Then stored. he went down to Smith's. Then yeah. we went to Smith's. Yeah. In the hospital, they would take yeah. with Mid Valley, they take you? Pretty much. Most, yeah. Yeah. Most Pretty much. much. But then, oh, yes, see, then, then there were no paramedics, there was nothing. nothing. We, yeah. All we gave them first aid. was first aid, yeah. and we took courses on that. Oh, yeah, know? okay. Yeah. But we gave them first aid, get them to the hospital, and that was it. That's what the rules were. Yeah, what kind of vehicle was it, the first ambulance? The first was a real old, something in the 50s, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there wasn't much room in it. There wasn't oh. much room. Well, what it was, actually, it was a hearse. Yeah, it was actually. It was yeah. a hearse, oh, yeah. Uh, Cadillac, or, or was that the second? Second. The Cadillac was the second oh, one. Second. Yeah. We raised the money for it. Um, and we built that ambulance building up there. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, this dam up here is called Collie's Dam. Did, uh, my mom used to say someone drowned up there. Do you remember it? Francis Collie. Really? You live, when you go under the underpass where Peggy, uh, what's Scott lives? Peggy. Peggy Burke. Peggy. Burke. Yeah, okay. He lived in there. Is, is uh, that why they call it uh, Collie's Dam? Or, or was it always called Collie's Dam? It was always Collie's Dam. It was oh. a reservoir. But yeah. he lived in that house there? Was he related right to Tom Collie? I believe he might have been. 
Because he, he was about 20 when he... Oh, really? He swam by himself? And yeah, well, he went up swimming by himself. And there was a pipe in there that sucked the water into the, the pipes, and he got sucked down in the pipe. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, How did they find him? They had to go down with the guys with suits on. Really? Oh, boy. You don't know what year that was either, do you? That's got to be like in sometime in the 40s. We were just young guys. Did you guys swim up there too? Sometimes, yeah. Was the other we used man? to swim in the slips, did you know the slips? Yes, they're still there, yeah. Yeah. Wow. How about oh. the other dam? Was the other dam still there too? That was the still side? there too. That happened in that big storm that time. Okay, yeah. That got washed out. And the, the uh, 42 flood? Yeah. Got wiped uh, out too. Oh, well, it, what about you don't want the beavers built that thing right over. Did they really? It's up there now. Oh, wow. Those, you know, well, the 40 foot falls? Yeah. Uh, did you see what they did to it? Yes, that's a sin, Sammy. Yeah. That's what that electric part is. Oh, it should right be gone. Yeah. Right, yeah. A lot oh. of people try to yeah. stop that, but... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. All they had to do was I move know. over a little bit. That's all. Uh, I saw that poor one lady had a big right, right up in there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have I the picture of the... Have you? Yeah. I've heard a lot. It's a shame. It's a shame. I know. Shame. I know. God, we used to go up there hiking and swimming. Yeah. And Some of the old mines now, they're open. Did you guys ever go in as kids? Yes. <laughs> did, really? Did you ever get lost in them? Or, uh, well, we went on and off a long way. Did. They got lost, he said. We got lost a couple of times when we got back up. Really? Where Joe Quinn's house is at Dutch Hill? Yeah. There was a big round shaft. Yeah. Right? What did they call it? Down? Yeah. 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 We used to go down. We used to go down 69 steps. Really? Honest to God. Well, then we didn't have it. We didn't have any smarts, right? We'd yeah. never. We would never do that now. No, no. Oh, man. Well, we used to go out there almost every day. Yeah, yes, really. Because we had the men's dam right next door to it. Yeah, yeah. The men's dam, and it's at this time of the year now, we'd have to go up there, take all the dead cats and dogs right back. Yeah, yeah which, that's where we swim. So we could go swimming. <laughs> That's where we we had no yeah, place man. to go. Well, and that's what they call it, the men's dam. Well, the men's dam. Well, well uh, my father said he used to walk up through the Protestant cemetery. Oh, yeah. The road to go up there, there was a dam. That was the men's dam. Uh, uh, that was where it was? Yeah, it was up in there where Joe Quinn's house is. Really? In that neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> How about the shifting shanties? Did, uh, oh. My Uncle Marty, they, he said he used to shower in there. Did they let we me? did. I'll tell you, we did too. That's yeah. where we went to shower. We had no yeah. showers. Yeah. So what we do, we got a chance, we go down there. And I'll tell you how to operate it, you know? Uh -huh. And there, if you went in, you had your nice clothes on like this. Is the water cold? No, no they yeah. were not cold. Was it warm? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but in oh. young, you could go and dress like this yeah. as you worked in the mines now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take your clothes off, and, uh, these clothes, hang them on the pail, yeah. and you take that stuff out of there, put it in, go in the mines. Oh. Right? I mean, when you yeah. come out, you drop that pail down, and be clean clothes in there, and you had the dirty clothes. Oh. So it was a change. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You talk about yeah. did you have did you have warm water? The place we had cold water is after we got through scrimmage yeah. and with the high school we'd yeah. go up and we have cold water for a yeah. shower. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but that's oh you used to shower down the shifting channel. Oh, did you really? Oh yeah. yeah. We were picking berries or anything like that. Yeah. We'd go in there. There was a lot of berry picking back then. Oh, oh, oh. the depression. Oh, oh God. Really? Scotty got this mountain bar up here too. And they barely picked them. Did they used to fly planes in to get them? The berries up there on top of the mountain? They might have. Really? No, there's because not too many berries now you go in the woods. Not okay. No, no. Not. no. I wonder but why. you know what? A blight? I get, I don't know, but I get water. What the, what the heck is the guy? Tony, his name is. I get water, right? And he told me, come July, second week in July, and the fourth week in July, he said, you come up my play, place, he told me where to go, and you can pick all the berries you want, no charge. Oh, the high holders, no, no, no. Oh, high holders, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'll let you know if you want to go. Wow. I have, to, I have them marked on uh, someplace, I, yeah. I remember going up behind my house. Oh, yes. Oh. On Academy Street, we used to see... Uh, yeah, oh, the top of uh, the Daystrom's Tower. Sure. We thought, yeah. oh boy, we're up here in the middle of nowhere, you know. Yeah. We're buried all over the place. Well, 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 then there was. The well, the AC yeah. Field, right, Bobby? Oh, oh up there, up by the AC Field? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Buried around, believe They're not around. They're not? I don't know if a blight Something came like around. They're still over there. Well, no, not, not, not enough to... Picking. It's not what you're picking now. I remember what the old Polish people were going up in the woods with big things on there. Oh, really? And they'd film them. Yeah. Really? Wow. 
and to sell. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Scotland yeah. can give you an IOU for the. Who was that? You got paid. You got paid. Later on. Yeah. They called the Sheeny man. Remember, was a she? He used to yeah, buy he used to come out. Yeah. Who was that? rags and some scrap. Do some scrap, really. Yeah, he used to come out. Yeah, he would blow that yeah. thing, drive real slow. I was you used to, thing. used to get, you know, for two cents a pound, or like that, whatever yeah. it was. But oh, then you know, he'd go around the block, and we'd, we'd go back, yeah. and we'd take them off the truck again. Yeah. And we'd sell them to him again. I know we had a guy who came through with the vegetable truck, remember? Yeah. And God damn it, the guy had everything you wanted. Really? Everything. Well, you remember that, the vegetable truck and the yeah, meat remember truck. The milkman. I remember the cure, the milkman. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was well for years. And we had the cream. We had, I was a little kid. We had a shirt yeah. bottle like uh -huh. that. Yeah, on top. Yeah, yeah. We had the, and he was a nice guy. The he guy was, who yeah. used to sell yeah. the fish. Yeah, we had the guy. Out. And then the umbrella man. Stand on town. Okay, I remember the uh, Jewel Tea Man. Old man, around. Jewel Tea Man. Old yeah. man Lucci went around with the bread. I mean, yeah. Oh, really? Set a bread. I remember a guy named Ronger. You remember? The Ronger, Joe Ronger. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah, I remember him. I was a little kid. I remember yeah. him, though. He was well, a good then, back yeah. then, we had the bakery. Right. right. We had the guy come with the fish, the guy come with the, the meat. Red oh, rolls. Oh. Oh, what else? Vegetables, they yeah. They your house with meat, too? I never, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. I remember yeah. Joe Ranger, I remember Cure. Cure. And, and then the later on, the yeah. other, uh, what's the other? Sailor uh, used to pedal uh, uh, for, yeah, uh, for somebody. Uh, uh, yeah. Stevens. Stevens. Stevens Brothers. Yeah. 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 That was used the carbon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. well, uh, I remember that at, at, uh, Kelly. Yeah. 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 At Kelly. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Schindler's Bakery. Yeah. 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 He did the, he he did the, the bakery. And the deacon. Up until about what, maybe yeah. ten years or eight years? Yeah, he worked for he, the milk. He, he did the milk. He yeah. did the... Hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and everybody had milk to deliver to their Yeah, yeah. It was a different time. It was. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, good much good. different. Much slower. Yeah. Everything is fast. Yeah. yeah. Fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Yeah. Yeah. You get a good shot, try to get up to that old dam up there, because that's all built again by the beavers. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, that's... All built. Where's that? Yeah. Up on the lot here. Did you guys ever walk up to Edgerton at all? Not that, no, I never got up there. I was up there yeah. once, but yeah. I never really took a... Yeah, okay. Because I know Professor Moran used to walk oh, from yeah. Bottle Street yeah. all the way up there, and he met his wife on number five, Winifred Caffrey. Yeah. And walking past every day, apparently. Matter of fact, I, 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 well, I saw you up there. Up yeah. at, uh, I yeah. bought the book. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, boy, that is so interesting. It is, yeah. It really, that. really yeah, is, yeah. yeah. That's but a hike. That, that's how he and his wife. Yeah. And in the winter? Yeah. Marie Snow? Rope told me that. We interviewed oh, yeah. Marie and she said, yeah, that's how he met his wife, walking back and <laughs> forth to work. But nobody walked four miles today to work oh, one wow. way. Are Each you way. kidding? Yeah, four miles. They were different, 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 different breed. He graduated in 1899 from Archibald High. I how did he lose High. that arm? Pardon? How did he lose his arm? Uh, Tom Cluffer said in a, a breaker accident as a young boy, his right arm. And uh, it was definitely the right arm there. Then he went into teaching after that yeah. and never had to go back in the mines or anything. No. He became uh, the same. I didn't know how he had lost his Cummings. Do you remember yeah. uh, uh, Cummings, yeah, the remember. teacher? Yeah, he the was a class throwing it. Yeah, he was oh. my mom's Cummings. Cummings. Oh, yeah, yeah. He taught right him. Yeah. There was a big school across here. Yes. When did that shut down, that school? Oh, I would say about 25, 30 years. Did it really? Like yeah. when the high school started up there. Yeah, yeah. All them other places. Okay. This place was just a big old school. Yeah. He was working in the breaker and he crossed the yeah. tracks and he got it run over and they cut his leg off there. Yeah. He never had to go in the mines. He went teaching then instead. Yeah, he came over here. He was the teacher right here. Yeah. Did you ever go to that school or no? No. I, I came here after the, my brother-in-law bought the land. Oh, okay. Then he built his house up there and they sold that one. When did you there. move in this house? What year? I'm here about uh, 58 years. 58? Oh, really? Yeah, okay. like a long you time. Moved I came from Dark Valley. You moved from Main Street to here? No, the Dark Valley. Oh, Dark Valley. Valley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a picture of a... Uh... Hello? In 1910, of Archibald. I need you a copy. Hello? And uh, it goes from Number 5 Hill right up okay. here. Okay. You can see I'm the school, okay. and you can see all, all the properties up there have fences on for cows. Oh, yeah. Okay. They probably had cows there. Everybody Where was this? This is a picture, I'm going to get both of you a copy of it. It goes from Number 5 Hill. It's taken from the column bank behind the church. Yeah. 1910, from Number 5 Hill all the way around. You can see the school here. You can see all these houses. <coughs> uh -huh. But there's no houses on that side of the street. There was cow pastures. Yeah. But the old yeah. school was yeah. there. And you yeah. can see all the people walking on the streets. Was probably, the one you had made? Yeah, it was a yeah. Sunday probably. Because that's no, the one that's, uh, that's the one hanging in, in the Burr building. Yeah, it hangs in the yeah. Burr yeah. yeah, we just got yeah. another copy of that. Yeah. And, and uh, Louis Rupuch has one hanging too. Yeah, he has one too. 
But uh, do you remember all the all, all the schools? Like how many schools? There was nine. like there were all over. Uh, there was one right we across the street here, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah one so here, nine one on Green Hill, yeah. one on Riverside, one on Ida Mike Bob, yeah, one on Sturgis, <laughs> one on Number Five Hill. Where was the one on Number Five Hill? I don't know where it is now. Oh, that oh, was. Wow. That was where uh, Marin's house was. It right? might be, yeah. Yes, like that's, where the, that's, that's where the roads. Yeah, yeah. At, at the the on, yeah, at the Y. Right right yeah. That you know, was where the school was. You know, it was up there. Eddie Casey has a map, 1867 of Archibald. The Lutheran Church was up there, number five hill. Oh, I wasn't there because, you know, 67. all the people that came here at that time were German. Yeah. 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 Who yeah. were Protestants. Yeah. Then they moved back to Frogton. Yeah, yeah. That was all. That's where the school was. That's right. Yeah, yeah. right down in there. Yeah. Where Eddie yeah. Yeah. I don't know which Marin has Yeah, I think it's a Marin, right? Yeah, it's a Marin, yeah. 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 Well, do you have anything else? So we really appreciate this. We're yeah, learning about I the hope we were helpful. I don't know. Uh, do you have anything else? Uh, yeah. What about the wall? Oh, probably that was built no, the one in 1911. Well, did, did the railroad? The, the railroad, railroad came the across or there. Or? No, you know where Probst is at the lumber mill? Yeah. Well, it was the, we got a train from the gravity. Oh, we got a picture of that, that bridge. There was a big bridge across well, there. Right across the main the Gravity Railroad. Railroad. Mm -hmm. Right over to behind Bobby's. Yeah, uh, the, the, uh, uh, there was a washery behind... Behind, behind, behind St. Louis. Louis Street. And there was one back on Gabon Street, too. Yeah, that hill. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 there was, yeah. Yeah, that's a long time ago. But the, did the railroad company build that, that wall, or was it... No, the, the wall was built by the county or something. Like the county... Or the state, yeah. or the state. It had to be the state. Yeah, it was in it was in 1911. Hmm. I want to hold up pretty good for all its years. Right? Oh yeah. How that wall needed it was a good, a little bit of work. Yeah. A little, yeah. They didn't have to rip that wall yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. The because they were having, they were having a oh. tough time tearing that wall oh. down oh. with the machines. You couldn't get it down. It was that well built. Wow. Yes, it was. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Then they ran they into doing. something. Then they like like uh, pipes or something. Swerve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. Or, yeah. But that was them houses coming out the top. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And then they had to go across the road and over to the others. Yeah. One time that sewer ran right into the river, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right down all here. They all did. They all did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this big one. Yeah, I remember street. when we used to go up and visit my oh. grandparents, uh, ride through Frogtown on a yeah. foggy night there. You could smell that lane. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. That was. Uh, yeah. You might have another question or two. We don't want to take too much more of your, t but your time. Yeah, this is oh, interesting. My time. This is Mine interesting. This is, we're learning and I, we're I, trying I, to keep the society going, make yeah. it interesting for us. One day, see me. The second Monday of the month at 7 o'clock. Maybe we'll come over once in a while. Yeah. We're going to have a speaker next month, a guy talking about the Civil War. He's coming up from Duryea. Sometimes we show old films that we have at the town or, or yeah. the, the local area. You, you know, know what happens to me sometimes? I just forget about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's a shame because I'm right there. You know what? But I'll, I'll try and make it yeah, all be larger Monday. down. Yeah, yeah seven o'clock. The yeah. second Tuesday, right? Monday. Second uh, Monday. Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Tommy Clough is there too, right? Oh, anyway. yeah. All the time, yeah. And, so, uh, and you've done a good job. At Tom Colley. I have a lot Sammy of fun too. doing it. Oh, he's yeah. got a lot of information. I know he oh, has. Man. You guys are fabulous. Well, I have to say like that. Doing it. But uh, that's why we're doing these interviews. Because we interviewed Marie Roop, Mrs. Siddons, yeah. uh, Pasco Pratico. And, uh, and we're just we're learning about the town. There's things yeah. we got. This, uh, Benny Razalovich, I mean, we never heard of that until Pasco. Now you're giving us more people. <laughs> oh, yeah, we I know never... Benny well. We, we used to hang around with him. Well, you know, he's talking about Pasco. <laughs> no, but he's talking about Benny now. Benny, yeah. Know, yeah. But talk about Pasco to me. Oh. Right? Pasco to me, okay, yeah. I didn't was know. Car where was it? He, he, he was, a, was he a constable or what was he or something? Like that, yeah. He stopped somebody. Who was this? Pasco to me. Yeah, the oh, bar on that oh, show. Yeah, 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 the yeah, bar, yeah. right? He says, it's a guy, where are you from? Philadelphia. What are you doing with Pennsylvania license? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not a joke, that's I tell you. That's the truth. That's not a joke. And then another time, the I thought maybe you heard, maybe you heard this, Sam. I don't know if they, what did he have, the piles or something? Yeah, I was just going to say. Right. That. <laughs> that was my father that caused that. Yeah, ben my gay? father, uh, been gay. Or, <laughs> you know, we had a bar on Dutch Hill. <laughs> it wasn't a bar, it was our house with a booze place in it, candy in the cellar, all them things in them years. And Pasco came out one night, he said to my father, he said, Jesus, Joe, my arms is killing me, my pounds are killing me, I got anything for it? He said, yeah, he said, with that little 
where uh, Pasco's bar is now. Yeah. On your back there was a little porch and a toilet in it. My father said, go in there and put the stuff up your ass. He had Stone's liniment. When he did, Pasco ran through right through the friggin' door. <laughs> Right. That, the that's the truth. That's not a joke. Yeah, he sat on my father's porch for about six months waiting to that. find out who did that. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Well, I, I, I used to stay It's next funny, door. but next I guess it wasn't funny. Oh, yeah. So that's right. where my grandmother was. Yeah, yeah. I know it was. And, uh, 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 the Gaberts. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, they used to tell me stories about. What other kind of. <laughs> Old medicines that they use, like cures years back growing up. What what did they hit? <laughs> well, I when I was a kid, I remember I used to try and hide from my parents. I had to take cod liver oil. Yeah, me too. What would you oh, take it for? Oh dear God, and I hated it. Is that a cold or an oil? oil? It was regular yeah, oil. Sick. You know what it tastes like? Oh. Horrible. <laughs> it tastes horrible. It's still on the market. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but it did its job. Did it, what did it clean you out or what? what? It did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and my mother was great, like. My throat now should be working on that. She'd go down there with uh, like Vicks and things and mix them together and it worked. Uh, My mother, the v she lived right away, right away from us, two doors. They had a ton of kids and I used to be with them all the time. And my mom lived up two doors and when Mrs. v kids got sick, they'd call my mother. And it all had the goddamn, uh, well not hemorrhoids, but the, They'd be going into like shock, you know. Yeah, yeah. And she used to go down and she'd take them and she'd get a pail of a tub of hot water, a tub of cold, and she'd go back and forth oh. until she shocked them out of it. Wow. And that's how the neighbors were over there, baby. Oh, yeah. They took care a of it. A tub of hot water and a tub of cold in the back. Really? Yeah, it worked oh. because it took them out of the shock. Yeah. Well, see, there was a lot of remedies that time. That time and, yeah. and they worked. Oh, oh, yeah. And I think they will still work, really. I do yeah, too. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what about your first jobs? Where did, where did you? I mean, I, the first I, 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 how much were you paid? I was in the distillery where they used to make the whiskey. My father worked there and I worked there together. I, I was only 15 years old. Where was that at? Right on the main street. There was a big place. Across on Dipples. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big place. Three, four floors. And I used to run the vat on the bottom. You know? Wait, uh -huh. Dipples up on Main Street, across from it, that's where the little keels used to be, that little. Yeah. No, but that's how the distillery was. That was on, 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 on that side of Bugs. Bart. Yeah, okay, all right. Huh. My first what, job, the big price. My first job was the shoe factory. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, almost everybody well, got their job. Well, I'll tell you there. what, you can say what you want about the That's place. That's why there's no jobs. Yeah, there. there's a bathroom on the back porch. Huh. You, have to go. Uh, uh, you got time on it? Oh, yeah. That's why uh, there's no jobs. There's right. no factories. But, and that, at the time, that was the salvation of Archibald. <laughs> Yeah. We were ready to collapse. I, bet you. I was making, at the time... The six, mines closed, you know. And yeah, yeah. 65 cents an hour. Yeah. At the time. I'm sure they get it, right? On Cherry Street. Was there a little battery factory down there? There's like a little piece of foundation. Yes, there was. Dunner. That's what I thought. Yeah. Dunner's on the other side of the road. Yeah. There's still a little piece of foundation. Like, yeah, I remember right that there. old building when I was nine or ten years old. I mean, it was still yeah. it was shut down. Like, oh, well, uh, Dunner, but I, you know, Big Dunner, yeah. he, he ran it over there. And was that his son that had the, the one on Main Street? On Main Street, yeah. Okay. I, I remember you working for for Merrick. John Merrick. John Merrick, yeah. when he was over... I worked for him for 15 years. Over on, uh, you know, like uh, Gilmarin Street. Yeah, and I worked on Street, Street. Had his, his, uh, yeah. Yeah, his car police. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you work for him when he moved? Or, or was that later? For a while I worked for him. Then yeah. a guy came to me and said, Joe, I got a good I'm job. Over on the highway. I said, where? He said, I got a job in the mines. I said, Jesus, I don't know. I don't go in the mines. He talked me into it. That but then it. I got taken out of heart. I worked for John Merritt for 75 bucks a week. I took the goddamn job down there. And I must have been there five, six years. Right? It was a while, yeah. And I made a good buck. Wow. We used to load like 20 cars a day. That had to be a wow. while. But yeah. you know what? Once you got used to it, you didn't care. Did you come out all black and Oh, God. Wow. Uh, I used to go to the second shift, too, and it was Oh, tough. they had, well, how many shifts? Three? They had three. Really? Six in the morning, one in the afternoon. How deep down were you? I was down about a thousand feet on the shaft. Where was that at? In town here? Eddie Creek and all of all of Oh, all of yeah. Wow. And they had a big thing up there. They had an old man, but I can still see him. He was 89 years old. Running the up and down elevator, right? Oh, really? Wow. You get us on that goddamn thing. Five minutes, you know, you're down that thousand. What was his name? Do you remember? I can't think. I'll come up with it. 
Wow, wow. It, it, it was it was out of, it wasn't a local guy. It was he, he was eighty nine though. He was running, and he was running the shaft. Wow. <laughs> and he he catch it down. I'm not kidding you. Really? That far from the grind stop. <laughs> you're, you're hard to be up here going on. Wow. Was we did a lot of we did a lot of things together, but I never went in the mine. Yeah. <laughs> was anybody yeah. hurt in that mine or killed when you were? Not when I was there. Wow. And it was tough in there because. Yeah. We had a lot of what drops. kind of electric lights then? Or? Yeah, we had the lights. Okay, because before that they had the uh, carbide. Car car yeah, that had been pretty dim, pretty well, dim light to work. Not only that, but it was bad for the gas. Yeah, it. yeah, I bet. Was there yeah. many explosions in the mines around? Small there? ones. Really? Yeah. And you know what? As bad as it was with the gas in them places, these dumb bastards would be smoking in there. <laughs> the workers were yeah. smoking. There were search going outside, but you know what? They'd have them in their boots or someplace else. Really? And they'd smoke them there. So you're breathing the coal dust plus the cigarettes? Or or the, the gas. It's the gas. gas yeah, yeah. The guy, the guy come into the chamber, he'd have a thing with a bird in it. Oh, to really? To see if the bird would stay alive. Yeah. They'd wow. know what was going on. Uh, wow. Uh, canary or something, weren't they? Yeah, it was a canary. Yeah. Like the, they wow. carried him in a cage. And oh, boy. He knew what, what was going on in that sun. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember, remember, like, like any of those organizations, like, you know, the Molly Maguires and I, don't and I mean, like, well, not them. That'd be too early. For yeah, yeah, me. But like later on, were they still fighting like that, or not too much? Right? The Irish, no. and the Italian, all that, and, and no. groups like they did years. Well, before. years ago they had that. They did, yeah. Uh, yeah. But not, not, not in our, not in our time. Not, not, that I can remember. Yeah, well, it, was, yeah. it was before yeah. Your, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it had to be rough. I'll tell you the truth. I said it before too. And Bobby would back me up. If I were to die and I was coming back, I'd want to go to Dutch Hill. Dutch Hill, really? It's the the greatest place to live. Right? Okay. Now, where was your, okay, you're going up to Tommy Coffers on the left. Where was your house? You right across the road. Right across? The was big it? house with the dentist. That's not. The big yeah, house lives there now. Oh, you know where the dentist lives? That was our house. No, wasn't that McHale's? What? No, they were up oh, on the McHale's corner. Oh, McHale's right on the corner. Yeah. Next door was Connie's. Uh, next to Jerry Treadway, right? Your, That's your, that was Connie's. Instead of going down towards downtown Archville, the next house down from McHale's? The next house from McHale's was at Connie's. Right. Where Jerry Treadway is. Yeah, okay. So and the next store. house is the doctor, do, uh, the yeah. dentist house. No. And that's where you lived, the next house. That's where he lived, yeah. Oh, okay, so you were we raised 13, there. 13 rooms in that house. Really? Three oh. floors. That, really? Yeah. He's up wow. on the top floor with all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bob, did you speak Italian all the time in in your house? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how we spoke. Can, Can you, you still speak Italian? English? Yeah. Then, but like a word you learn English. I went to school oh, and I just yeah. School. yeah. yeah. Now yeah. my wife, my wife, God bless her. It took her a while because she, old man Quinn used to have a store over where across the road, right, right across the road from where they live. And oh she yeah, went, yeah. She'd go in and ask the guy for, I want chipotle, or I want latte. And chipotle is uh, onions, or they still hadn't known the language yet, you okay. know? No, I always spoke Italian. Well, my mother and father. Can you yeah. still speak it now? Well, if I have to, yeah. Como esta? Oh, that's, Being that's so simple. Yeah. I can yeah. 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 I used to talk because I was with these guys. Yeah. <laughs> But His I, mother never called, never made the pies that you make on Easter, right, Bobby? Yeah, the But I'll call him me and say, Joe, you make sure you're here on time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She'd call me up. So you guys hung around together growing Since up? Since we were born. Oh, my gosh. Did you really? Oh, yeah. wow. We have to be the best friends. And Tommy. Everybody told not us. Like us right? No, not like you and I. When you're interviewing these guys, make sure the two of them are together. Every Tom Holly, they all said that. I said, that's yeah. the way it's good. We're going to do well, it. Since we were born, we all were on together. Yeah, right. well, well, that's the guy. Because he lived behind me and I lived right here. You know, we got and a lot of good information that we didn't know. This time we're learning and uh, we're going to try to teach the people in the Archibald. Oh, like thank growing. God we were helpful. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is real Maybe interesting. Maybe someday your ancestors will see this tape. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. People don't know what it was like back then. I mean, oh, uh, God. it was It was so living. nice to live back where we lived at that time. Yeah. Talk about that. <laughs> we, back then, everybody had chickens, or they had pigs, yeah. or they had, yeah. Yeah. and my job was to, to clean the chicken coop, and boy, yeah. that oh, I ate. Boy. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. So you guys so butchered your own chickens? Cut the heads yeah, out. My yeah, my mother used to bring their necks. Their necks. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you do that too, or you just? I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. I just cleaned the chicken. We used to get the eggs. 
We used yeah. to help all down the guts, don't kill the pigs. Yeah. We'd have to haul them for My father's mother, he well. told me she used to churn mm -hmm. the butter. She used to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. churn the butter. Yeah. Yeah. That I don't remember. Yeah. No, but that, they had a lot of that around. He, he was born in 23. He remember he told me a lot of stories yeah. about yeah. there. And, and uh, yeah, they did that. They had their own cow. You oh, guys yeah. have your own cow, too? Or? No, 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 we, we, had, had, we, had, we had pigs. Did they didn't, yeah. but we had we pigs, had, yes. Yeah. Chickens, too. Or? And chickens. Yeah. And let me tell you. Uh, with the pig, just about everything is edible. With the hair. With the pig. Everything oh, really? is edible. The tail, the, the skull, the, and the blood. They didn't drink it right out of the pig. No, no, not drink it. We used to, they used to make a pie. Really? Oh, yeah, that was yeah, another yeah, thing. Blood too. pie, yeah. And yeah, it was delicious. It was called blood pie? Blood pie. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, but when Dominic was killing that pig, when it started to bleed, he got a glass of I really? never did that. I, I remember my father saying that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. But well, we used but to have that. They, yeah. they were part of them. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah. They probably why just did didn't that? want to waste nothing. That's right. Like Bobby yeah. said, the only thing was the hair. The only, right. uh, really? That's all? The, the, the pig, everything was edible, though. Uh, honestly, God, it was. Huh. Pretty much. You How know. many did you have? How many pigs at one time? Maybe one. Oh, one or two. Really? Yeah, one or yeah. two. Yeah. Well, the pig's feet. Did you ever eat pig's feet? I've heard of them. I never ate them. They never ate them. Delicious. Oh, really? Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I might have had them once. You can oh, buy them in the store. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Wow. Well, you guys remember hearing the story of Belinda Mulrooney? Who? Belinda yeah, Mulrooney. she's over here in the cemetery. No, she's the one who left and went out to the Alaska and became yeah. very well to there. Got My grandmother used to tell stories about she's that. She's buried here? She's buried over here. Is she really? Yeah. Really? Wow. In the old part of Prince. Yeah. In front. Yeah. yeah. She huh. made a ton of money up in Alaska. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she really did. Yeah. I didn't know she was buried over there. Wow, that's interesting. Yes, Who other famous people that came out of this town do you know of? Oh, or yeah. infamous? <laughs> that venison family, I told you he shot his son. I saw that. Yeah, night. that was Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was. <laughs> and then Delfino, you said he got. Uh, yeah, he got killed by the other guy. Mm -hmm. Here's a question Where did you go on a date? Like in those days? The movies. The movies? <laughs> the Grand Theater down there? Yeah, where else could you go? Yeah. Like, we didn't go to. Uh, we didn't go to. I mean, where'd go you go a restaurant, to, like uh, a, a nice a place or something like that. Like, where'd you go to park or something? Amusement park? Well, we can't tell you. We used to go to some amusement park, so they have that's where we used to go. Yeah, we went to amusement parks. Yeah. yeah. Where, oh, yeah. Where were they at? Which ones? Rocky, Rocky Glen. Glen. Okay. Uh, it was a great place. Yeah, yeah. That was what, at that time. That was the best. Yeah, the best place. Lake Lador had one too, or was that? Yeah, shut down? Yes, yeah. They had an amusement park. Yeah. Lake Ariel had one too. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. You went up there to Lake Area? Yeah. When I was young. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember going up there, but I don't yeah. remember the place. I, was... I remember they had a nice roller coaster. Yeah, there. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. even when we went back then, it was pretty yeah, much was, on the uh, on the decline. On the, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rocky Glen, I'll never forget. We came back from our honeymoon, and when we went down there, they had Italian there. They always yeah. had Polish day, Italian, yeah, they had Italian there. day. And the Fiorellis ran it. Mr. and Mrs. Fiore, they had a radio program. Uh, yeah. So anyway, they they asked, uh, they had a, boy, there was a big crowd there, who was married the, the longest? Yeah. And, who, and we were married just maybe a week. And we wanted a beautiful lamp. Really? Yeah, we had that for the longest. Uh, well, you still have it things? Huh. No, 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 no. But we had it for the longest time. Oh, it was my guy, Walker. I have to take a water pill in the morning and yeah, we, don't want to tie up the yeah, we could even commence right now. We just oh, stop yeah, no, we're enjoying it. <laughs> if you want to go a little bit longer, it's up to you. You use the power. Uh, Can you move your machine? Uh, Let me move this here. And, just a little uh, bit. Just a little bit. Let me see that okay. picture. Sir. That's right. Yeah, very the interesting. No, the picture. What we're learning the picture so far. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Say mine. Mine's right there. All you guys' siblings were born uh, in the house, too? You guys were born in the house, I was. Right? No, I was born in the Mid Valley Hospital. Oh, where are you really? Okay. Yeah, yeah I was born in Mid Valley born. Hospital. Okay, yeah. Dr. I was born Collar, too. Huh? Uh, Dr. Collar and I had. Yeah. McIntosh. No, I think McIntosh was my in, doctor. In the house, the family. Everybody house. had Dr. McIntosh. Right. He was a really? doctor. Yeah. Back then, everybody had him. That's a nice picture, Sam. I'm going to give this to Andrew. 
<laughs> Are you giving this to Angie? I'll, I'll, I'll make her a copy. Make her a copy. This okay. is a grandfather. That's Sam. He was a great man. And Mary. I used to take him shooting the, what do you call it, the woodchucks. Really? Hey, wow. And he'd take well, the I wine and too. food. You took him too. Wow. He'd have wine and food for me. Wow. He used to dig wow. that garden. Wow. Honest to God. From the house way oh, back yeah. at the Old Ridge. Yeah. At the road. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. hand. Yeah. Yeah. Angie. Are you dressed? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Why? What do you want? I have a nice picture here you'd like to see. Uh, uh, maybe your grandma, she she was a nice lady too. I, nice oh, lady. they were nice. They were nice I, people. I, I, uh, uh, I didn't know them until they were old. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they were real old. I knew them when they were... I mean, yeah, matter yeah. of fact, when your grandfather died, I mean, like to died, remember them. I, I knew your them. grandfather died. That's right, the snow. I, I, we had it's new, there was such a storm, yeah, and I remember the shoveling the road yeah. it, to get him out. It, it, it was like the boots. hedges. Was and our, yeah, our, uh, it was our in January, I think. Was you make a buy there? You want a short? No, we're filming, but you could you, you, you could buy there, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, want you to But anyway, I, I remember shoveling the road yeah. to get him out, to get him in the house. That morning, we got up. Oh, man. I'll never forget that, yeah. Do you remember any major snowstorms? Oh, that one was under We're all grandpa. major snowstorms. How were you taking pictures of? Here, take a look at this. Hi, she, Sam, how are she you? She won't know who they are. How are you doing, Angie? Okay. That looks like my grandfather. It is? Yep. Uh, and your mom. And your grandmother. <laughs> my grandmother. Your grandmother. Uh -huh. And let me see, my mother's there. So yeah. is Jean. That must be Austin, the baby, right? They got killed. No, they said it was, uh, oh, oh, a Frankie, I think, the baby. No, Austin's the baby. Austin was only 19. Austin Motz was the baby, younger than Aunt Mary. I... Uh, you mean on here, though? Yeah, there. I don't think Austin was there yet. Maybe, Maybe he, he wasn't, wasn't born yet? I don't, I don't think so. Because was, was this him sitting here? Killed. No, I... Wait, here they are. But that's supposed to be Frankie. Father uh, Sam or Sam Or, 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 or my father sitting Joe. down. Yeah, it does look like your father, doesn't it? And and now Frankie is the young one. This one here? Mm-hmm. Well, then after Frankie, That's what they, after Frankie, there was a, no. He was one of the older ones. There was uh, my Mary. mother, uh, Ralph. Mary too was not on there. Then. Mary is uh, the second last one. Yeah. Is is the Mary on there? God, look at Celestine. She looks just oh. like Grandpa, doesn't she? Yeah. With that puny face. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember your grandparents? No, now, I who's this one, Sammy? Because she was 89 uh, when she Frankie, died. Frankie, you're going to Where did you? Yeah, but how about this killed. one? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. That's Joe. They are my, I never saw my oh, grandparents. Oh, Joe. Oh, really? They were in yeah. Italy, you know? Oh, they never came over? No. And then Frank. What part of Italy? They were blonde. Calabria. So, Calabria. So, I was, we were all blonde. Kind of down in the Yeah, kind of down in the I don't know, and then we all, well, I don't know where it came from, but then we all got turned our hair turned black after so, we got So, uh, Mary and Austin aren't on there. Either. No, maybe they weren't yeah. going yet. Yeah, well, where's Ralph? Ralph, Ralph is... <coughs> yeah. well, Ralph, uh, Ralph isn't on here, is he? Yeah, it Ralph's says Ralph. on, on the left. This is Ralph? That's what they said. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. You said I'll make your picture if you want it. Yeah, I'll make a copy of it. Yeah, that is nice. Where'd you get that? When my... My mother died. We found them, you know, a lot of pictures yeah, sure. and boxes. Oh and yeah, yeah. Same as now mine, Sammy's uh, father mm -hmm. and my mother were sister and brother. Yeah. Yeah. I have everybody in this town on my family tree program. <laughs> the yeah. The Leones and the yeah. Vitalis and the Dailies it's and It's amazing, all. isn't it? Seventy-two thousand names. Whew. Yeah. That was my mother. She was a beautiful child, wasn't she? God bless her. All That's she it. went through. You no, know, they're all good looking. Good the long hair, just like today. <laughs> yep. How's Elaine doing? And how are you doing? Good. Good. You feeling better? Yeah, that's why we're interviewing. I never knew he had... Uh, he had surgery, yeah. <laughs> no, he had a yeah. kidney. And did they have to remove it? Uh -huh. did, did they, Sam? God bless you. At least that's God. God. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, as long as you feel good, that's yeah, what comes. Well, you right. can... Bernie Miller has only one kidney. She yeah. had to have it removed. Too. I know. That's what they say. A lot of people yeah. have one. Yeah. Oh, sure. Well, they say you only need one My to survive as long as you one. keep it in good shape. My cousin was born one day, took her kidney out, they said you only have one kidney. Oh. Yeah, I was born that way. <laughs> yeah, now they're going to have to, you know, keep doing tests on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, yeah. that's that's okay. Yeah. 
Look at Grandma. Oh my God. <laughs> So, uh, your siblings, are they all still alive, or? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bobby's alive. My, my, oh, no, no. I'm the last one. Oh, are you really? I'm the last yeah, one. Yeah, he's the last one left. Yep, yeah, I'm the last one. You're, you're the last one. You're yeah, no sister's a sister. I'm not a sibling. Yes. You had you're a brother. You're a sibling of your mother and father. Was that a bicycle? Was that your brother was on a bicycle? Was killed on the bicycle. Yeah, 1920. This is really nice, Sam. 1928, the year I was born. I will. Yeah. I was born in December. My mother always that had year. such sad eyes. Well, well that's she, right. You look at the You gave me that the article in the paper. Yeah. You gave yeah. me that article. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was a different world. Did they have your parents have any pictures of him? Or? It was a different world. It was. That's the truth. I had one, but I don't even know where the heck wow. I have one. Oh, oh, your you know? father and mother? No, no, no. My brother. Yeah, it was killed. killed. Oh, Francis. Johnny. Johnny. Oh, I thought it was Francis. How about uh, you? You could probably add to it. We're uh, recording the <laughs> history of the town there. Uh, well, since you were a little girl, has it changed a lot growing up in town? Oh my God, I'll say it did. Yeah. It did change an awful lot. Do you remember Kim Beck's store over there on sure. Main Street? Next we to the used Legion. to run in there for yeah. Ke yeah, next to the Legion. Yeah. Candy. Yeah. Candy. Nope. Candy. Nope. And there yeah. was Mellow's Bar there with all them big steps on them. Where, really? Uh, Right next to the gas oh, station sure. there. Oh, no, Remember, Remember Mello? Right. And there was a state store there, too. Next to where uh, oh, right. okay. Probst is now, yeah. right next, next to... Uh, next to Mully's. Yeah. Jimmy Mully's house. State store. Yeah. Yeah. There was a, a bar room there. Yeah. So there used to be Durkin's. Oh, Durkin's. Durkin's was there before Mully's. And then it had all these yeah. steps you'd go up into before you could really? go into it. Oh, my God. It was so and then nice Hennigan's was on the other corner. Okay. Do you remember the Hennigan's with that big building? Jim and Mountley's yeah. house, wasn't that you, Brady's at one time? Yes, yeah, it that was Brady's. And it was McGuire there? Dr. McGuire. Yeah. 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 yeah, he yeah. was the last one after. Yeah, he had a daughter, finish. Bridget, when in school. Yeah. Right, right. Nice guy. Yeah, that's they right. They moved away. I, don't, I haven't seen her in well, years. Well, yeah. Uh, Moira, too, wasn't it? Mara, well, that was the one of the daughters, right? Yeah, was the, Mara the daughter. Uh, uh, Moira, I think that, that was. That was the doctor's yeah, daughter, yeah. right? Yeah, Moira. Moira, yeah. 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 You know what? Somebody gave us a record of the dedication of the playground, 1950, behind the school. I took it and I, we got to put it on yeah. CD now. And yeah. you hear them yeah. all talking, Judge Brady's down there. Oh, yeah? And uh, Father McGinley and the whole and bunch the of them. And the Bolins lived down yeah. where, uh, yeah. where uh, Foots are there now. Jazerski lived there. That was Dr. Yes. Bolins. Yes. Before that was Dr. Kelly's. In, in the, it was Kelly there. But it was Bolins before yeah. Kelly's. Oh, he was a dentist there. Yeah, Kelly died in 1915, but I have his life story on it. He well, how about the Bolins? When did they live there? Afterwards? Because Catholic one of them Kelly. went to be a cloister nun. She was there was beautiful. a house across the street, too. Wasn't there a big house? Yes, there was a great big house there. That old lady lived in it. Remember at Christmas time, uh, where them two houses are now, where the two new homes are? Uh, behind when the When you bar. came right over yeah. the bridge there. Yeah, there was a right. big white house. Who lived in that? That little old lady lived alone. Every Christmas would be decorated. You're oh, right. it used to be decorated. It was a beautiful, big house. beautiful. It was a big yeah, house and it was an older home with a big porch on it. Yeah, a big round porch on it. I can't think of who lived there. Uh, 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 that be where the is down. No, no, it's where them two new homes are. Where Walter Loff had one. Yeah, They're right, right at the foot of the hill. Right there. It's right here. Right at the foot oh, of the was, hill. Uh, Brennan? Uh, Brennan? Uh, Brennan? No, Brennan's, I think it was. Bolin was the name, right? Uh, Dr. Bolin lived in that big house. Across the road. Yeah, but it couldn't be Bolin on the other side. Uh, do you remember Benny Rezolovich? They were telling us about him. They buried yeah. him in the ground. You remember yeah. that episode? Oh, I don't remember them burying him in the ground. No. Yeah, he was buried it's for 35 days. Nobody has done it since, I guess. In the ground? Yeah. 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 35 days? Oh, How did he yeah. live? With a pipe full of water and food. Send the stuff Who did there? that? I, he must have made a belt. Must have been some kind yeah, of a yeah. bam or something, you know. Oh my God, is he the one that had the junkyard? Pack? No. no. Oh, you're not, you're, I don't know I if you know about that. He, Maybe he lived in Riverside on State Street. Yeah. Uh, with the Schmatskys. He was tied up with their life. I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't remember yeah. that. Uh, he was in the war, right? Oh, yeah. And he got. He got, he got a little shell shocked. Oh, yeah. yeah, he probably got shell shocked. Yeah, he has not Yeah. Right, yeah. He wasn't was good to go with Then we had Nip Heckman there tell us he lived in the woods up there. I remember. remember my mom told me. The first him. hippie. She said yeah. he had long hair. And, oh, my God. What a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice now guy. Now they yeah. said what that Joe. Rezo, uh, Joe um, Benny Rezolovich? No. Joe, right now, that he's, is he still in the woods? Joe um, Anzigrowski's son. The older one. Yeah, Joe. he was down here in the woods. Like he Joseph was a Rossi he was a hermit in the woods. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Of, uh, for years and years. Shifted, right, Bobby? Yeah. Really? He lived in the woods. He has a brother, Bill. 
Who's Lynn? Yeah, 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 Bill is the young one. Yeah. But Joe he, he was the, the older woods. one. There was Lynn and Joe, and he lived in the woods forever. I don't know where he is now. On the end of the there Gail, the a daughter Gail. She was yeah. That was his sister. Yeah, his sister, yeah. Sister Gail. There was Gail. Gail yeah. um, Lynn. Lynn was the oldest. Joe was second yeah. oldest, yes. I think. Yes. He's living in the woods right now as we well, speak. Uh, from what yes. I, well, I mean, well, I, I don't know what he's doing now, but he did. Make where, a down by the shifting shadows? Well, oh, no. Them. No, I don't know where, but he did. He was a hermit in the woods. They used to call him the hermit in the woods. Wow. Yeah. He I never come out of the woods. Because Nip did that, you said, up there. Oh, yeah, Nip. Would he live in a cave or what? Oh. I don't know. I mean, he's not that old. Yeah. He's, I'd say he's only like our Joe, maybe. I'm, I'm 57, so he's probably three about or four. About 60, maybe. Five, yeah, that's yeah. all. Because Lynn, Lynn would be as old as... You know, I did hear that. Oh, yeah. He Gail is my age. Yeah, he lived... I don't think they even know where he is. Really? He's Stand down there somewhere. Right? Is the parents still alive? I know the father died. Anne, Anne, Anne is. Anne is living down there. She's down there. She's down there in that... No, she's no, down so. in that he house. Uh, in they used to call her Mrs. Dugan's. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, well, Mrs. I know he they died. scared yeah, the kids with did. Mrs. Dugan, but really? that was a big oh, hole yeah. moved in that house. Really? And it was, it was a yeah. mess, and she bought that house, Ann and Ziggy. They called him Ziggy. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I went to school. And uh, she was a hard worker, and they made it beautiful. Oh, yeah. They yeah. cleaned it and made it, you know, hole. the rooms in it, you wouldn't oh, even believe. Oh. But who else to do that? It was covered with ashes and everything. Mom told me a story before she died about uh, a couple walking up from Dark Valley, uh, arm in arm, and then they disappeared. A young, maybe 15, 16 year olds, mm -hmm. everyone wondered what happened. They found them in the uh, belfry of the church, St. Thomas. Oh, Did you Lord. know about that? You heard about two of them? The two of them, yeah. They were hiding up in the belfry of St. Thomas. Oh my God. What was this? What year was it? In the 30s, Mom would be about uh, 10 years old, mid 30s. Oh my God. And then she told me about that. And Peg so Splane. remember that. What Tom year Cluffer asked born? Peg. She said, it's, it's a scandal. I can't talk about it. And that was way she back in the mid 30s. Just a baby. Yeah. But she that could talk. be, but I mean, they wouldn't even remember that. That was before yeah, their daughter. No, you got to remember back in there the, when the Depression was there. Yeah. The church never locked their door. No, they didn't. Because oh, really? The, the uh -uh. guys coming on the railroad had no always place to go. Yeah. They'd be jumping In on. fact, they didn't lock them till like, they just used to be open when yeah. we were kids. They weren't thieves. But then they had to right. call right. lock them because they were the finding things right. missing right. and yeah. broken. They and having the that's robberies. a sin, I'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Pasco Pratico said his parents lived in a boxcar when they first moved here. I wouldn't train by. Oh, I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, that's yeah. what he told us. We I interviewed him that. Yeah, last yeah. year. Pasco lived on Dutch Hill with us guys. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah. He's 94, yeah, he 95 now, I think. Uh, yeah. uh, next to the yeah. shoe factory, didn't he? Pasco? Oh, two doors down. Right? Somewhere Maybe. over there? Pratico's lived? Yeah, I think so, yeah. What, what schools did you go to growing up? I went to St. Thomas's, and then I went to high school. Do you remember any of your teachers, any of the nuns, or any of the Oh, the God, teachers? yeah, if I stopped to think, I could remember them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, went to St. Thomas, I didn't know. I that. went there, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And then I, I remember went, Sister went over Rosita, to school. Sister Rosita, with me. Sister Rosita, she Sister, taught me Sister and my mom. Rosie, and Sister yeah, Rosalie, yeah. Sister Rosalie was our music teacher. Sister Rosalie, oh, my God, yeah, there was some was shows she she'd kill you. There was some shows she put on? Oh, God, she used to put gorgeous shows on. I remember, I was the other day, don't because yes. I didn't go there. Rosaline. Did you remember her? I remembered her, she yeah. She used to put beautiful shows on. Yep. Oh, God. Do you God. remember Larry Cummings, the teacher, with oh, yeah. one leg cut off? Uh, right across the road. Yeah, yeah, I do, vaguely. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. He was yeah. a man. And there was uh, I... B. Collie and. Uh, Beatrice. Um, oh, Mrs. Hughes and Mrs. Durkin. Oh, right, okay. You, you must have named all yeah. them. Mrs. Durkin was the nicest person. Mrs. Durkin had always yes. had something wrong with her. Yeah, really? she, she, she had a walk people, on right? like sticks. That so you went to the old high school down here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. But they, she was a nice. She was. Oh, nice. And Miss Cosgrove was up and she was. Yeah, a, I told them that. Did you tell them about her. She she <laughs> tried out the window meanest, in a minute. Meanest, meanest cat shit. <laughs> A.J. Burke. Oh my God! Yeah. I have his his. Uh, uh, your book have you? from school. Oh, His yeah, your book? Oh, you have to do with it. Oh, yeah. How'd you get your hands on that? Was it your mother's? eBay. eBay? Yeah. Oh, how about that? I have Archibald High 1899. The, the oh, yeah. 1899. If there's no something pictures, on eBay names. that I see, I call my names. Just names. Well, and what they did they have programs for graduation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They used to have gorgeous graduations. I mean, they remember their I told them all the graduations were up in the. Or a building. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They were. Yeah. They were. Yeah, we had, uh, 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 we stood out in front of the 
the high school along yeah. the, the sidewalk. Yeah, right. right. Then we go over and it's class night. Oh, it was good. Yeah. They were beautiful. Yeah. There they was no elevator then. Yeah, we no used to elevator. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, they used to have beautiful. They don't even have a nice class night now. Yeah. They just have. Yeah. How about in the mines? Oh, any of your family they have work in the mines? My father worked in the mines all his life. Well, was he, he worked on jackhammer. Well, he worked there and then he had to get out because he took sick him to see him and he went to New York. Yeah. And to be honest with you, we never saw him. So we did off and on, but then he. What mine did he work in? Oh Where God, still, I don't know where he worked. Right. He worked with a, you know, but he was a hard worker. Worked yeah, all, all his all those, life. That was all hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. He even had to load cars. He was saying. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I never knew that until now. I didn't. Well, in but between, was, he he worked for. Um, Marins. Marins, and then uh, he left there. Was it after that you went in the mines? Then from there I went to New Jersey, and worked. I should be left to that money. Well, when we were first married, he went to Jersey then, uh, and then yeah. he came back. Which no, kind of that's when you came back. From After one I of the mines to, first, yeah. because then the uh, Grace Marin called you to shed a job for you. Oh, yeah. And then he came back here because I said, Take it. Why would you be going back and forth? Oh, that's yeah. what. You worked yeah. for Miller, John's Ramble. He worked Mansfield. for John Mansfield. Mansfield. Yeah. And then, oh, the insulation company? Yeah, me and okay. Joe. And our Kite. Joe was only like two months old. It was the year after we got married. Yeah. We had Joe, and he'd come in every week, and it was so hard. And then Grace Marin had a job there, and someone must have gave them his name. She <laughs> said, Oh, you'll get a wonderful pay. Yeah, seventy-five bucks. Seventy-five dollars a week. But then I suppose that was a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. But oh my God, yeah. yeah. Wow. And that's how he got back here then. And yeah. then after that, he uh, well, you worked for them until you went with Prudential. Yeah. Right. That when he went with Prudential, that was a break. Yeah. He was yeah. he was like what thirty-five. About that, yeah. Really. And, Nineteen sixty-four. Uh, yeah, and he went with Prudential, and that yeah, was a good company. Married. What was that? 64. Yeah, it was around that yeah, time. It was, 64. It was, it was a good major. company to get involved <laughs> so with, policy. you know? Yeah. They yeah. had to go out and sell and everything, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but I mean, it was hard, but yeah. it was good you know, because you, you right earned what you... Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was a wonderful right company to get involved with. Wasn't it a Billy Munley insurance man in town? Yeah, one time. and he Billy moved was, away, right? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Billy moved away. Yeah, I remember Billy Miller. He was a gambler. Yeah, was he? Nice guy, but a gambler. I had to do a set of dollars on plays to play with it. <laughs> do you remember any, nice guy. any characters living in town, like Nipet or like Waterman Kelly? Or, do you remember anyone like oh, that? Oh, I remember was? him. Of course, God, everybody remembers him. He was. <laughs> he was a character. What was his real name? His first name is real name. Walter. 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 Uh, uh -huh. Walter. Yeah. Walter Kelly. Well, I, like I said, he was tough because he sucker punched. Him. That's yeah, yeah. And if he you were a big guy. in a bar. Or everybody whatever. was afraid of him, weren't they? Yeah. Kind of afraid of him, well, like, you know? Who was it that beat him? It was a trouble. Oh, Moody. Trouble Did Moody no. then, of course, cut him up? He beat him to pieces. Was Moody? it him or Ed Marin? <laughs> Ed Marin oh, was another Oh, it was probably time. Ed Marin. Yeah. Did he get cut up in a bar? One of them, I saw. Moody, Moody Mancos like was sitting you? next to him, yeah. and he was, oh, he yeah. should have been around, right? And he was going to beat him up and everything else. And Moody said, Give me a bottle of beer. When he did, he smashed it out and just stuck around. My father oh, told me, God. and he said he scarred him for life. He was lucky, lucky he didn't hit Who the ice. Who did he do it to? Mooney man, of course, was sitting next to him. And, and they busted. never went to uh, jail or to. <laughs> to no. Just fight with him. Yeah, but, uh, you know, about two weeks after it. that, a guy from Jetsville came come up. His name was Jimmy Gough. I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. About 35 years old at the Conways. And who was sitting next to him but Ed? And Ed started busting. Ed had a fight, was no matter who. Okay. He was really? a troublemaker. Well, when yeah. he was drunk. So the guy said, why don't we go outside instead of this? Now, this guy was only a little. Yeah, he was, he was yeah. always half drunk, that's yeah. why. And when they went outside, the guy hit him, and Jesus, Ed never got up for 15 minutes. Really? And he kept saying, oh, come on, you're so tough, get off the ground. He beat the <laughs> oh, shit out of him. He was, he was, he uh, was. Wow. He was a he was, su sucker punch. Like, he, you know, he was a mean man. In his older days, he mellowed, but he was not a nice man. Like, like, uh, oh, uh, what's his name? Waterman? Yeah, what? Well, Same thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, he, and, like, he, would, he was always the boss. Nobody could yeah. beat him. Okay. Where did he live? But you know number where? Number Five Hill, right? Oh, did he really? Didn't Tell he him. live on Number Five Hill? Waterman? No, he lived right there on the corner. No, Not Waterman. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Ed Marin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was on the hill. But you yeah. know what? Yeah. We were on council, yeah. and Ed Marin was on council. We'd be fighting like buggers, right? 
Right. They would go out, they would go, let's go have a drink here, let's uh, yeah. go have a drink there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was all over yeah. once we left the chamber. Nobody argued with it after that. We went. Not like that today. They leave the chambers. No back. animosity yeah, yeah. towards each other, you know? Oh, yeah. I said it's over when it's over. It's yeah, politics. Yeah. You can't stay yeah, mad true. forever. Yeah. That's what, talking about Ed, or Waterman. I was in the American Legion on time one day. I always thought they were brothers. He was half so much alike. He was trying to push me around and everything. He pushed me around, right? Played with me for about a half an hour, 45 minutes. I said, well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to live here right, leave here right now. And if you put one hand on me, when you're going up your steps, watch where a guy sitting there with a pipe. I know oh, you are kidding. Oh, and you know what? He never bothered me. Really? Wow. That's it. You got to stand up. I was told him I was standing up. Well, that's what you got to do to these people. Yeah. How old was, was he? A lot older than you? Or? Oh yeah, what a man right now. Right? He's probably dead anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, he, at that time, he was probably fifty. Well, well he, he was, was just, older than us. He was just starting. Well, he's got to be mixed up in politics. Yeah. The year we got married. Yeah. From 1950. Oh. Uh, uh, my father said it was a guy named Turpak. He used to be a bodybuilder or something. They used oh, to go watch but he was from Mayfield. Yeah. Probably. You remember him? Yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah. He, was he said they would go watch it. He'd be pumping he was that iron. He was in the Olympics, too, yeah. Yes, that's what he said. Yeah. 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 He was in the Olympics. Yeah. And he started York Barbell Company, I think. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was Basil. Was it Basil? Uh, it was Skippy's cousin. That's all. Yeah. 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 I don't know him. Is Skippy still alive? No, I don't think so. No. What do you uh, remember, Sam? Alice's you're from the next. His oh, wife Sam, you're from the younger wife. generation. Yeah, yeah, I am. Skippy's wife's blind now. Oh, really? She's yeah. alive, yeah. yeah she's no, Skippy's dead quite a while. Yeah, he's dead a few years. Who's the still oldest living? person in town still alive, do you know? Of? Is she still living? The only one I know is Pat. Pat Pasco, he's 94, I think. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Pasco Pratico. We interviewed him last summer. Oh, did you? And, uh, yeah. He's 94? 94, yeah. Got a lot of stories. We <laughs> talked. Oh, he does. Mrs. Siddons, we talked to Marie Roop. Interviewed yeah. her. I haven't seen Marie even in church. She I saw her the other day. Did you? Yeah. I was passing out some leaflets for Dave. She's not And there I no sat one. on the porch with her for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, Fasco is 90, 94. Every time yeah. you brought something up, asked him a question, you know, oh, let me tell you about that. Yeah. And he. Really? Sharp right, as, yeah. Sharp yeah. as a really? Oh, yeah. man. The only thing I have against him is he. Stopped us from Where is he living? Yeah. Right on one of the park. Is he we, still so down we there? We interviewed him, yeah. and then not long after, he uh, got we sick. Put a high and they put him in right? a yeah. nursing home. Yeah. Get out. Son did, yeah. Get out. Yeah. 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 I'm not stopped. sure who owns the house now, but uh, oh, he's not down there. Oh, I didn't know there. that. No. Oh, yeah, he's down there. I didn't know he was he's down there. Yeah. yeah, I was talking to, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't the Monsignor, what's his name? The other, what's his name? The brother. Yeah. His son, yeah, Dur I don't know the other one. Oh, uh, Father Pratico. No, I just know him, Father, and another daughter. Lives up. Yeah, well, anyway, I was yeah. talking to him. He said he loves it down there. Does Where's he? Where's he at? It's Grant, right? What the hell is his name? No, he's down here, isn't he? Down in. Oh, uh, is Dixon. he? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, the Holy Family? Who's he now? Oh, that's where he's at. That's, that's, that's where he's at. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. That's where he's at. Yeah. 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 yeah that's where that's he loves nice it. He has to go someplace and take him or whatever Yeah, he really likes it. That's nice there. How about your family growing up? What did you do for entertainment? And, uh... Oh God, we weren't entertained too much, <laughs> were we? Uh -huh. we? We worked and worked and went you to school. You had your own chickens home. and you had you, your own... Well, we didn't raise chickens. Well, she went across but... the street to see Roger. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, really? Right across we're, the street? We're, we're oh, yeah, we uh, across the street. So you met the girl next door? But the, that's not where you met her. I mean... I just met him. I mean, yeah, school. that's where I met him. Just going to school. It's a school. Really? Yeah. The same grade? Yeah. No, he was ahead of me. He was four years older okay. than me. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He married. He robbed the cradle. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He robbed the cradle. <laughs> no, I have really a picture don't. of my wallet if you guys want it. Real well, life. What's that for? <laughs> no, don't give them that picture. It's for her and I were just no. getting out together. No. How did you meet your wife? That would be Pepe's. In the shoe factory. Oh, really? Yeah. You work together? Actually, right. in the shoe factory. Really? Yeah. A lot of people got jobs. Where was that factory? Yeah, right up behind. Where oh, it is now. Where oh, TNR no. is. Okay. Where yeah. TNR is now, right? No, no. No, not no, TNR. No, no. Uh, the, cool. the same place where it is now. Is, is yeah. The that's store? where I worked, too, when That's I came out of school, yeah. Be time, Tom Clufford, is that building back there? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mr. Kenny was he in charge. Remember him being Rosie Fancy? Yeah. We have a picture taken. Rosie Fancy still in the room. No, she's done. Uh, we, uh, we have a picture taken from uh, behind the shoe factory when they were building it. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. It's like a wall was yeah. started. 
Well, we both lived up yeah. there on Main yeah. Street. Mm -hmm. and then I after, worked on that yeah. Yeah. Big one with the uh, yeah. oh, big coal miner. Remember him? Jesus, he was on booth. I don't know. And I was oh, coal miners across from yeah. Thames. And him and I were okay. working in the ditch for the foundation. Now, who did you say is the oldest man of Pratico? I think there's older than him, so. He's 94? 94. I don't know. But anyhow, he wouldn't let me work at all. He did all the work, digging and everything. Else. How big man. That, that colored lady lived in town. Oh, Billy? Billy. Billy, yeah. She was the best. Was I remember her when I was a little kid. My mom pointed her out. I got to tell you. Tell them story. the story. Here's yeah. a funny story. It was a wonderful woman. One night, yeah. me and I were sitting here, and I hadn't seen Billy in about what, five, three or four years. Oh, God. Well, I thought she was dead. Yeah. Because she was sick and she was dead. We're sitting here, and this place comes on, and they said, We have two people here tonight from. The TV, on the nurse. TV. We were yeah. watching TV. From the uh, nursing home, right? Yeah, yeah. And then one of them was Billy. Mm -hmm. What was her real last name? Jones. Jones. Jones? Billy yeah. Jones. She was from the South. She was from Georgia. That was her real first name, Billy? Yeah. Billy. Well, they called, they called, they called her, her Billy all the time. But, but anyhow, she really had a name. She was, right? And I was sitting there, I said, Jesus, if I didn't think anything different, I would say that was Billy up there. Yeah. Because we hadn't seen her in a couple of years, right? She was gone. So the next morning I picked the phone up and I called the nurse. I said, there was a, a person on there last night. Listen to this. I know. I said, uh, uh, I don't know what her name was, but she's a nigger. The lady said, what? You should have said. I said, she's a nigger. No, you said, Billy's sure a nigger. it was a friend of Billy, ours, Billy the nigger. Everybody, yeah. everybody her. called her Billy the nigger. So I mean, said, yeah. yeah. You know. And every night in the week she walked the streets. Yeah. I'm well, right. even she, in the daytime, and she always gave everybody goose eggs. Yeah, up there by the starlight. She, she had goose there. eggs, yeah. and she lived back behind uh, 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 Pepsi's lumber yard. Pepsi's lumber yard. Yeah. 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 Nice she'd lady. carry a basket with wow. she'd, By herself, she lived? Yeah, yeah. and she was yeah. as spotless as could be, and could she'd be help like. you if she could help she you. Would. Yeah. She'd yeah. come in and say, I, I, can I do something? She'd come to our house, and really? she'd say to my mother, Give me a job, I can do something. But like, you know, not yeah. that you shun her, but like everybody was like, <laughs> nah, you know. Ooh. When did she die? Huh? And uh, she had these big goose eggs she'd be passing out to. And they're good for you. And don't be afraid to eat them. I think we'd throw them out after she left. She was 100 years old. <laughs> wow. 100 years old. He said, there's a lady on TV. I'm... I think I know her. Now, what happened and when he... you called? <laughs> the lady wanted to kill me. She said, she oh. You can't see that on TV. Well, this I said, well, let me tell you something. I know the lady for 50 years, and I never called her anything about Billy the next you know what? You tell me what her name is. You know what, though? And then she wouldn't give it to me. Times change. You can't use that word. No, well, not now. But I got to tell you the other part. part. And <coughs> so she dies about, about a month later, and we had bought her a, a nice black. Yeah, yeah. Because she's <laughs> the only colored person in town. Yeah, yeah. And the oldest. Yeah. Right? So we presented it to her, and Jesus, she died a couple of weeks later. Wow. And Jeez. guess what? All her family came up from the South. Really? Where's she buried? She's over here. In St. Thomas? She's her Catholic, yeah. yeah she, did they the old her? part or the new part? What part? She's I don't here, know. Probably the new part. Her last name is Jones. But anyhow, her husband was a Spaniard. You know? <laughs> and he was a wise guy. He went down when she got sick. Yeah, he wasn't a wise guy. He was... He was she used to. He was a Spaniard. Yeah, but he wasn't wise when he did that. He, he took... She, he took sick. Oh, she took sick. He took sick because he was afraid he wouldn't be around when she died, and he went down and made all the reservations for when she died. But her for Harrison to take care of her. Really? He oh. showed us when my mother died. He said, here's the dress. The dress was still hanging. Wow. And he said, he came in and made all these. He said, and we have to keep them here. He paid for them. Mm -hmm. He said, this is for my wife. He said, I, well, he lived with her. I don't know if they were married or what. But he was dying then, and he did die before her. Yeah. And he said, because well, when I die, nobody will take care of her. So he said to John Harrison, old John Harrison, he mm. said, these are all, I have everything here for her. Because he said, she took care of me all my life, uh -huh. helped me out. And uh, he, he pulled the dress out. I can remember him picking my mother's yeah, dress. He pulled it out and he said, he said oh my uh -huh. God, won't it be dry rotted? It was that real fine, mm. nice material, Georgette like, you know. He said, well, that's the one. He said, we could update it by that time. And sure enough, he did die before her. Really? Wow. And uh, so when she died, he did. they did take care wow. of her. You know? well, we gave her that plaque, and she was so happy. Wow. Right? 
When she died, the daughters came up from Florida. They have it now? They called me and they said, Mr. David, they were going to put it in the casket and they asked yeah. them not to. Yeah. So we were going to put it in the casket with her. Because yeah. yeah. they didn't know what to do. And yeah. They were such people. There was doctors, uh, really? nurses, uh, like people who all had good things going. Yeah. And she was up here and they all went out there. She said, wow. we'll keep it in memory. They thanked us so much. Something? They really? wanted to keep the fight. Why didn't they wow. take her down there with them? Did she have a stone down here in St. Thomas? I don't know. I, don't I know really don't they... know. How did she get up here? I mean, she was up here. Oh, yeah, he, must have went down, he must have went down and asked for someone to clean his house or something, because that's what she was his maid. She started out as maid. Oh. And well, then she ended up living with him, because okay. she was a good person. I know she was. She did yeah. anybody in the town that needed anything, yeah. from, from Scranton to Carbondale. Mm -hmm. She'd go in and say, I remember her saying, if your child needs tonsils out or anything, I can help you. How could she help you? She always had a we couldn't months. help ourselves. Hmm. Well, she used to say she that. Was a nice lady. She'd say, yeah, I'll go yeah. with them to the That's hospital, and I guarantee you they'll take their tonsils. I remember her telling my mother that. <laughs> and no. my, mo my mother used to go, yeah, you get them out first. You'll probably cut our necks. You know, but she wasn't. She was a nice She'd woman. She'd come up through the town every night and sit on the porch. Anybody yeah. say, can I sit on the she porch? She was a big, tall woman, and she was real lanky, and she yeah. Yeah. hi, yeah. how are you today? And the little mm -hmm. kids would see her run like hell. They'd all run and hide. Yeah. Nobody yeah. ever saw a colored woman no, in the town. Yeah. Yeah. Black person. She was the first yeah. one that ever came through yeah. the town. Yeah, told me. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh -huh. this time of the year when the tomatoes they start growing, they should call they come up to us. Yeah. And like if you were nice, to her at all, then she'd constantly yeah, come yeah, and yeah. visit you. That's, oh, that's you know, so like you, uh -huh. you get used to her coming, you know, but like uh -huh. to be sitting there with her, you think, oh my god. Wow. Was she was funny, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. really. And they he was so a Spaniard, and he wasn't a bad guy. Oh, he treated her in town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He I don't know how he treated her, but he wasn't a bad man. He treated man. her good. If she'd never, listen, she'd probably cut his throat if she didn't treat yeah. him good. You know how they were. He was yeah. probably. He, he, she, she used to clean his house. She was his maid, and she was spotless. Yeah, she was, boy. Amazing. Yeah, not like today. Either. He mentioned the Venison family. Do you remember the Venison family? I remember that name. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I do. There was one Venison that shot his son around. Yes. Uh, Might be the same yes. guy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he got him to put the uh, snake around his neck. <laughs> see, I mixed him up with Mikey Gilgallon all the time. Yeah. Mike was like, they were two weirdos, street. weren't they? Really? Mikey yeah, is, Mike. Do you remember Mike? Mm -hmm. Sure. And I always used to get the two of them mixed, mixed up. up. Yeah. yeah. Was like you know up behind when my grandmother lived and where you lived. Wasn't he always up there in the field? Yeah, stay up in that oh, field. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can remember that. Like yep. Their house was there. No, yeah. that was the field. And yeah. then one of their houses sure. caught on fire up there by Reap's house. You know that? Remember the big fire up there? No, remember Mikey that? Go I think it was Mikey Gogallons that was caught on fire. I could still see flames. Do you know where uh, the top of the pipes. where Hauser's house is now? Oh, yeah. It used next to be door. Reap's house, but oh. next door, there was an gallon. empty lot there. Oh, was that the vacant lot? You see there? the vacant yeah. lot? That was Mikey Gilgallon's house, and it went up in flames one night. Oh, wow. I can well, remember it. Well, well uh, the old picture we have, like, uh, uh, of uh, that bridge, it was taken yeah. from up that way, down this way. There's, uh, uh, you can see Hauser's wall. You can't see yeah. the house. And then uh, 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 there's a house right next to Hauser. Yeah. And, and uh, then there's an empty. A big empty uh, yeah. basement, like uh, walls. Yeah. So it was just wall, like where the yeah. where a home burned, and it was left like that. Well, he used to keep his horses and things at the bottom yeah. of that house. Yeah, hmm. that was Michael Gallon. I mean, that picture. There's no wall there or nothing. It's no. just dirt. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and you know what? And, and you can see the tracks, right. like from the streetcar. Oh, sure. It's true. But anyhow, uh, I'm gonna do this. Well, Mikey Kilgallen, every Thanksgiving oh, Eve, took his horse out mm -hmm. and his buggy, he had a big buggy. Oh, really? And he had lanterns on it, a big, oh, beautiful parade to come. Really? Somebody crazy. used to keep horses up here when I was about nine, eight, nine years old. Up here? Up Ooh. by the tracks, the old tracks. And we used to go up oh, there and yeah. those little kids really? up there. I don't know who owned them, but they were up there. Uh, PJ, did you had remember that? that? Oh, did he really? Yeah, he had lots of them. It's, he went up to Pope and with Joseph E. my Bobby. It, it's uh, spell wrong. P, uh, spell wrong, but it's got to yeah, be. P.J. Burke with the horse. It's got to be Grandma. He took him up to Pope and Joseph He took up one of our friends with him. Mats. Oh. The kid never come back. He had a great job up there on Mount Airy and the middle of a house and everything. And, and uh, that wasn't the first Sammy time that Mats. it was. Sammy Mats. Yeah. Global. Hmm? 
Well, yeah, they spelled yeah. it M O T Z. Never returned. Where on Main South Main Street? He was. Well, that has to be like. Oh, 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 uh, Probe Street. It says east or west of Main south Street. Main, oh, See? west of South Main Street. West of South Main, so it's got to be Probe Street. Oh, my Could God. Be, yeah. Do you guys remember Ed Lavelle? Oh, sure. Oh, do we remember? Do you remember? What, you know, oh, my God. Okay, what did he do? He was a politician. He, painted. he was always in their house. It was after Jerry. <coughs> he was after my sister. He went to President's Balls <coughs> and guy. everything else. Yes, he did. How he... How he did it, I don't know. And he'd come up there and he'd cook a meal for her. I remember I was just going with him, and oh my God, he had a. It was a kind of fact. No, the, the, he had a little bit of a, 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 little bit of a restaurant. I know he. Uh, uh, well, nobody. The candy store. The aunt. Uh, with the nobody aunt, to ask now. Oh, the aunt is oh, yeah. next to the. Mary's the only one. To the Paul's uh, company. Paul's company. Really? Yeah, but this might have been before yeah, they were born. Old there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but maybe she heard about it, you know, but I, I mean, His wife and two children and a brother and were asleep. Brother. That was probably Uncle Sandro or, Sandro or Mike, Uncle Mike. Yeah. They must have came here with him. I got that from, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Tommy Cluffer. That's what I got. Yeah. Oh, my God. You remember when you had that little place there? Oh, sure. Well, they had a couple of stools. I mean, my father <laughs> never mentioned that. But he didn't keep it long, you know? No. And it was a yeah. horse on the streets. Yeah, yes, he, just, he ran hat. for sheriff. Yeah. Yeah. He went down down to the, uh, to the Lackawanna County Courthouse and he went up on the steps. On yeah, horse horse. Horse. Yeah, yeah, Mike yeah. Marino yeah. was arrested for dynamiting the house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I see God. that? Hmm? Yeah. When you're done. Oh, yeah. My father never mentioned it. He was a guy. You probably don't remember oh, this. Ooh, this was in 1916. I think he was up on the ladder. He was born. That's what I thought. Yeah. But I mean, somebody yeah, could have told from. him about it. Yeah, when was he born? Uh, My mother was born in um, 1910. This was in 16. Mom might have been a baby when this happened. Yeah, it said two children. Her and Uncle Ralph must have been alive. Yeah, yeah they were the first two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they said that, and it, and it, it it uh, wasn't the first time they did it either. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I don't know. You know. Maybe Grandpa did something against uh, <laughs> the rules. Well, he came to the America for the union yeah. or something. Yeah. I don't know. He walked in the mines every day, sir. He walked in the. Yep. Where did he work? He worked over the ground. He worked hard. The he had no car. He used to carry his own everything. Day he carried the bars and things that they were going to drive with. Was that? I never was, remember him with a car. car. Her huh? father, did he have a car? No, he never no, drove. He never drove. They didn't have cars then. No. Never but drove. he walked every single day from up on that side over to the back. Mm. And then it he says Mrs. Lines. Thomas Newberry on Cherry Street is quite ill. That was the home. days. You know, yeah. Mm. You'd think they were the days, but they were hard days. You wouldn't, oh, want, yeah. you wouldn't want them. That's they what I mean. Days, yeah. They were bad days. I mean, people worked. They yeah. ate. Oh. Yeah, nothing. That worked. Today, and the kids went in the mines so young and everything. And get hurt too. Oh, the little God. kids. And the yeah. brick was, was worse than that. Yeah. It was yeah. terrible. Oh. Terrible. My father was only six years old. He was walking the studios for the yeah. lunch pail to work. They were bad. The breaker. Days. The breaker boys. Yeah. I mean, that was terrible. I always think that it, I, in my mind, like I'm 80 years old now, but I think that it had to be the beginning of the world. Things were so tough then, weren't it? Like now things are getting better for people, I oh. think, but they don't want to. Ex they're do right. now they're ruining it. That's now right. they don't want to work. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, like Professor Moore walking from Laurel Street all the yeah. way to Edgerton every right. day, four right. miles right. away. Right. Who would do that today? No, no, they, they won't do it. Today. They hit 16, they want a new car. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, and they get it. Yeah. Our granddaughter like pulled they, up in front of the house. They, they have, have, brand new they have 16, such a good life like today. And I think if only they'd appreciate it. Well, that's, that's not her car. It's John's car. She got her license the other day. Kylie. Oh, did 16, she? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. What's well, her name? driver now. John yeah. called me and he said, Did you know it already? Go out on the porch. Kylie's huh. cut, driving the car up. Oh, well, she God. come up in his convertible. I said, Jesus, you <laughs> trust him with that. And he said, Well, I just took her for her license. She's all well, excited. He was right. excited, too. He's sure. going to them, you know. But he, he said she wants her own car, so I'm ordering her one. I said, well, whatever you do. He, he, he can do it, Angie. Yes. God bless you. Right. He, he, he took her to New York, said, Bobby, to look at the car she wanted. Well, there was a, a show in New York, and he took yeah, her down there at a car.